how the can't can't say that word this soon into the video how 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 on earth is this a minus two title this is a great title it is at the very least equals kek it's so bad what do you mean it's not a, what's what's wrong with it it's not even it's it's not even kek it's equals kek not even kek i didn't read the title but minus two wow wow if you're watching this on, on YouTube, uh, today's title of the stream, which may not be the same on YouTube, is uh, The Time Has Come and So Has Phi... Dot, 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 Null Fantasy. A play on, uh, on words with uh, the song from Devil May Cry 4, because this game has uh, combat like Devil May Cry's. The song there goes, The Time Has Come and So Have I. Is this title supposed to be a joke? You don't want You don't get it! Just because you don't get the joke, doesn't mean that it's not a joke. That sounds like a stretch. Alright, Expanse Hater. So many, so many layers. So many layers. My god, it all makes sense now. Minus two. How was your weekend? Uh, pretty awful. But, you know, we got through it. Your Persona 4 Golden Stream ruined me. It was laughing uncontrollably, eating a watermelon with all my friends. You know how I know you're a weeb? You, you added the G. You had to specify that it was Persona 4 Golden. Like, Persona 4 was not enough. You had to include the G. Well, I'm glad that you uh, you laughed like a, like a madman. So, uh, quite the eventful weekend, huh? Damn. Damn. Anyway, uh, let me get one more window set up. The Wagner stuff. Yeah, I g love the internet. Treating it like it's a story, and they're disappointed in the ending. Like, oh. Well, this isn't gonna fly. There has to be more to this than that. What, what, what do you mean? Like this, this is this. Oh, I'm complaining to the season directors. This, the showrunner of this is not going. Is not doing it very well. Like, <laughs> it really needed an editor. It says a lot about society. It doesn't understand colonialism. <laughs> oh man, don't eat his food, Fatsby. Not your food. Not your food. What did I miss? Oh, just just a coup in Russia. Like, you know, where were you that you missed that? Thank you, Foxen, for a ton of bits for your amazing Hypnospace playthrough. I'm reading this message. I, I will take no notes. And shout out to the insanely great fan artists during those streams. It was probably an all-time great for the fan artists. Pro probably, I think it has to be number one, right? It's got to be number one of all the fan art showcases that we did. Although... The Trolley Chan run is also very dear to my heart. It wasn't a very long coup, to be fair. Yeah, if you went to sleep at the right time on the weekend, you may have slept through the whole entire thing. That's true. That's true. That's true. Will you be doing a Tears of the Kingdom critique? Uh, I pr probably eventually one day, maybe five years from now. I don't know. Maybe. Sorry we're late. Uh, I went out to get food um, with Finn, and the place that we were going to was closed. So then we went up to the backup place, and that was also closed. So we just kept walking for a bit, for the and then they were open on the way back. So that's what we did. Honestly, it was more of a mutiny, to be honest. Info is indicating the aim wasn't to overthrow the government. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, it's hard to know exactly what went on. And anyone who who thinks they understand anything about that is probably deluding themselves. Um, especially well that's not true i think having a good handle on it is possible but when people start to like talk about the motivations of the people involved and be like oh this is clearly out of character it's like come on you you have no idea what's going on you, you have no clue gatsby's definitely bigger than this dog for sure for sure oh what 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 gatsby what 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 are you doing what are we doing fan no i don't think we're doing fan today we'll do fan tomorrow do you eat outside a lot, or do you cook at home? Uh, we go through phases. Sometimes we we probably get oh take out a little too much. Uh, lately, it's been a lot of um of of home cooked meals. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Could Gatsby beat that dog in a fight? Mm, I don't know. I've never seen Gatsby. Huskies aren't very aggressive dogs, but he's only half husky, so I don't know. I've never really seen Gatsby go after anything he does go into alert stance do you know like have you ever seen a german shepherd like kind of kind of back up on its hind legs and is like i'm i'm ready to just launch forward kind of stance sometimes when there's like a weird guy outside or he hears a noise he gets into that stance so maybe he does have it in him to to be like a, a guard dog or or an attack dog but um typically huskies are are 
lovable pushovers. Like there's a meme that if you ever that if you ever broke into someone's house who has a has a husky, the husky will help you rob it. Like huskies, are like, oh hey, how's it going? I'm a husky. I'm a restaurant. Like huskies are very very friendly, um, and kind of stupid. Um, well, not stupid. Uh, they won't they won't really listen to you, but in a argumentative way. Yoshi is the is the big um, the big barking threat in this house. Is Gatsby too big to safely play with the kids, or is it not really an issue? Uh, I don't let the kids and the dogs um, interact all that much, especially when the girls are out. So yeah, we 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 they'd probably be fine, but it's not worth the risk. So the dogs are usually down here in the basement with me. We also have an older dog. Uh, Lily's dog is still alive. She's still trucking on. It's been her last winter for three winters in a row now. Um, and I don't think it's very fair for her to have to deal with, uh, the bigger dogs all the time upstairs either, so, there's that. Alright, what are we doing in the game today? I feel like someone asked me a question, I wanted to answer it, and now I don't... <sighs> How old's still alive old? She's 15. Is her name Shell? Her name's Chloe. Oh, there's like a, there's like a music here. Is this the same Joseph Anderson of Orbital Decay challenge completion? No, I haven't done that. I've done Basic Decay. I haven't done Orbital Decay. Orbit de Orbit Decay is is scary. Although the tooltip is finally updated, saying that I have enough mastery to try it, but it's still probably going to be really really slow. You do what you always do. Let everyone treat you like crap and take it. That's true. I do do that. Yeah, I'm taking it right now. Okay, so so I want to recap of the story, and it might be good to just like like ref refresh my mind to it, but I don't want to take too long. It could take a couple minutes. So where Clive, Clive had, is like a like a almost like a prince of a, of a duchy or whatever. Um, no, this is way too much to recap. But not not much has happened actually. To be honest, it's kind of been a clusterfuck. Clive has a brother named Joshua. His mom and his dad. His dad liked them both. His mom is is very power hungry and only cares about the magic being passed down through the bloodline and it skipped over clive but it turns out not really and it went to joshua she, so she only cared about joshua and then in, and then she like betrayed the whole family and had the, another army attack them killed killed her husband joshua died in the kerfuffle turns out that we killed him when we turned into like a big monster as well in a big fight, we didn't realize it, it was us. But it was also kind of spurred on by Joshua from the future that was looking at us somehow. And now we're going to find him here. Uh, and then like 13 years later, after like being like in exile for 13 years as like a slave in an army, on the it, within 10 minutes of each other, we, we met our long lost sister, got recognized as the lost prince, got our dog back because the guy who found us just so happened to have a dog, met another person who has the, has the iconic ability, then we went to his hideout. Uh, and he said, I think there's one, there's another person with an icon nearby. Maybe it's the one who killed your brother. And then we go there and it turns out that it is kind of, but it's his brother. And then we went and we, f we found Benedicta and we fought her. And that was kind of really weird. I thought she was going to be in the story for longer and have more to do with Hugo that we saw at the beginning, who hasn't come back yet. Hugo is the big guy that look like, looks like Letho from, from Witcher 2. And then Sid fucked off. And now we're with, now we're with Jill. So we're, this is our, our sister girlfriend. Um, not sure yet, and then we're like with her because we're going back to the place where Joshua was killed, and it turns out that we're we're like a, a dominant that has Ifrit or whatever. This is only going to make sense to you if you've been if you know stuff about the game where you're watching along. And you just want a refresher. If, if you don't if you don't know anything about the game, this is not helping at all. But it's 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 helping me remember what it is. Oh, forgot about Gav. Yeah, Gav. Um, Gav is uh, the best character in the game. Can't wait for we to play until we play as him. That's that. All right, let's go speak to Martha. Also, we can steal people's psychonic powers, but also not really. We like copy it. Lurker here. Have you read Andrei Sapkowski's uh, Hussite trilogy? If you have, what do you think of it? I have not read that. No, I've only read the Witcher books. My thoughts on this game are that it's mostly considered with delivering an emotional impact regarding the feeling of adventure and overcoming obstacles and less about the specific nuances of dark fantasy. I feel like those are more there to make it more approachable to current audiences and then funnel them toward the emotional moments, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, I think it's probably a bad thing for me because I prefer more to the stories than that. But yeah, there's the, most stories and most big media lately is, is more concerned with emotional moments than, than plot. And that seems what audiences want. But if it's the wrong emotions, then you get like 12 hour YouTube videos, like saying this is woke bullshit or whatever. Oh! 
you know what? 16 out of 10. Excuse me. Would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking. Landlady and tenant? Why they have an imperial bearer with them. Eh. For protection. All right, not feeling Which it. Hopefully won't be needed. If you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. All right then. Bearers don't have an easy time of it in Rose area. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. I am very strapping. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the malicious way. Gav said you might be able to help us. <laughs> oh, Gav sent you? Alright, we should have led with that. Friends with Gav. Heard anything about Witcher being heavily inspired by Elric of Mel Melniborn? Okay, well, I haven't read it. I have heard about this, obviously, because how could you not? I don't really give a lot of, uh, is it credence or credence to those sort of things? Unless, like, it comes out slam dunk, like, look, there's no way this can be denied. Especially after, like, I fell hook, line, and sinker for the whole, um... Well, I didn't fall hook, line, and sinker for it, but I, I kind of just assumed it was true when it wasn't. The whole Kimba thing, Kimba and Simba. And then I had to watch uh, Adam's whole expose on that before realizing, oh, this is just complete horseshit. Um... Yeah, so, uh, like, like I don't, I don't know. Like, the maybe uncomfortable reality when it comes to a lot of media that we all consume is that everyone just kind of copies everyone already. Uh, there's that line, I don't know who said it, I think probably people, like, attribute it to Twain, but maybe it's not Twain. Like, a, a novice artist uh, copies, like, a, a mature artist steals or whatever. Whatever that is. Adam like, Adam from Your Movie Sucks on YouTube. Sorry, I should clarify because not everyone knows who I'm talking about. Um, a mature artist steals or something like that. So, something like that. Um, like, and that's that's true. Like, it's very, very true. Um, who are you plagiarizing, Joe? Your mom. Oh. Oh, she's really good at Dark Souls. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like, I, I don't know. I, I, there is a level of, obviously, copying and everything that it's like, okay, this is not cool. But, um, I, inspiration, like, taking this and, and, and redoing it. I think Shakespeare was known to just take what was kind of kind of popular at the time, make it his own, and just do it way better. Was it, I remember being taught that in university, but it was bullshit. I feel like there's a lot of bullshit that surrounds Shakespeare. Anyway, let's keep going. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old Martha. friend of Sid's. What about Gav? He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? Shakespeare never existed. Gate. That's a that's a banger conspiracy theory. I like that one a lot. We have questions that need answering. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Eastpool? Be, if the bridge hadn't collapsed. Oh no, we can jump across what that. Blooming nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I mean, it looks done. I like... did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another job. What do you mean? It collapsed, and this is like, ew, what, what? What is he like? A like a like a boomer dad? He was like, this project's almost done. Time to go start a new one. Like, what? It's it's done. What the? And he hasn't come back. Do you think something might have happened to him? Fingers crossed. He's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. <gasps> we'll find him. And make sure he's safe. I'm a witcher. We both need that bridge repaired. And your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. Really? Would you? You said that he went out on a job? <laughs> right. He went down into the marshes to check on... <laughs> what was this transition? What the... Another bridge. The one by the fallen gate. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. We should hurry. Clive's in his 20s. He's 28. The That's the quickest way down, if you've a head for heights. His name is Bernard. Should you find him well, tell him Martha sent you, and that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Yeah. 
Yay. To the marshes then. Let's find that ladder. Man, whenever remember when everyone was just like like losing their con collective nappies for for the, the demo of this game, and now we have the full thing, and it's this. God damn. What are you after? Gaia blade. Uh oh, we have Gaia blade plus one. Never mind, we're good. Take care out there, eh? Mods calling out mods in chat. Oh, is there a mod fight? Mod fight. Mod fight. Mod fight. Who's fighting? Been doing healthy trade with the folk from the monastery of Lee. Funny how Grieger's servants always seem to have full purses. Fresh cut. Fresh cut. Get your fresh cut here. This was a very fast elevator. So I read a spoiler that the quests on the minimap that have a different symbol are the ones that are worth doing. Some without that symbol are worth doing. I don't believe you. How do I do the map again? Is it like, let's start. I feel like every game that has a map should, should have a dedicated map button. All right, nearby activities. No, maybe there is. I can't remember how to do it now. Local map. Maybe it is, it is tap, hold on. It does, all right, good, 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 good. All right, so we have to go inaccessible. No, we're not going there. Ridox jump, crooked Nash's pier. All right, where's this bridge? Oh, it's it's there. We went the wrong way. God damn it! All right, back to the elevator, back to reality. I was curious after seeing all the close QTE moments. Have you played Az Az Azura's Wrath? Because I think it's like the best moments of this game, but in a short package. I have not played that. No, I think I've seen a clip of that, and it fresh looked cut, cut. wild. Was the shit that you turnips. do. Where did you get those you really turnips? Alright. Okay, hold on. Are they going to say that every single time I walk through here? Let's see. Alright. Let's go again. Come and have a look. Don't be shy. No. Do you also feel like Torgal exists to farm Reddit Karma? Which one's Torgal? Is Torgal the dog? No, I don't think so. Is this game better than Final Fantasy 15 so far? I did not play Final Fantasy 15, so I can't tell you. Sorry. Bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. Whoa! What the? What? Oh, it's just a light. Okay. Wh what is this Pokemon bullshit? What, dude? The shit we've done. Are you fucking? The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. Oh, then. Part of the reason I think, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Part of the reason I think the focus is on big emotional moments is that it is structured very similarly to Final Fantasy XIV in terms of pacing with its busy work followed by a dungeon and a big boss. This basically funnels all the setup for each region into a climactic encounter. Are you just saying that though? Because like the same person who directed Final Fantasy XIV directed this game? I think maybe if that case. wasn't true, you wouldn't be saying that. You wouldn't be comparing those two games. Yes, a ladder. Why don't we take the ladder over to to the bridge and climb over it? I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Ah, get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Yoshi P didn't direct this game. I thought he did. I thought it was the same same team. People have been saying Yoshi P the whole time. Maybe it's just the same team then. Maybe I'm wrong. My bad. Hold on. What was the last Final Fantasy game you played? Um, I tried Final Fantasy XIV for... Is the sound okay, by the way? I tried Final Fantasy XIV somewhat recently for an hour and got so bored that I didn't want to play anymore. Um, it, it's also the time commitment, to be honest. It's not, it's not just that. Um, I didn't play 15. I think before that was probably 13. I played 13. He is a producer, same as you, Joe. I don't produce anything. Definitely not videos. Oh, Thank Bernard. You, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. 
She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. What was your opinion on 13? Didn't finish it out of 10? I think I maybe played it for 10 hours before I, I tapped out. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around and I see a gang of slabbering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, landlady. She asked if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but I it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. <sighs> okay, is the is the village on fire when we go back? Like, what what are we doing, game? Time for bridge building mini game. Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. Sorry, I need 10 logs. Oh my god, that's coming, isn't it? <sighs> it's, I need some clay for the foundation and some logs and also some, some iron that I'm going to magic into some nail. No, please no. Just My life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him, we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Joe, it's fine, give it a chance. It's stream three, my weeb! What do you mean? Let's get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm alright. And she'll have her bridge back soon enough. Alright, Martha, your bridge is gonna be back soon. Alright, turns out. Oh man, how do you get over this? Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Don't worry, I've had a lot of practice fixing these things. Timber doesn't last too long in these marshes. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, alright? The bridge is down. If you're headed for East Pool, you'll have to wait. Building bridges. Report back to Martha. Homecoming. Fulfill Martha's request. That's 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 just the same quest twice! you're back what happened did you find bernard we did he's fine and he'll have the bridge to eastpool repaired soon oh, well thank the founder for that it was lucky we found him when we did the creatures out there are not to be trifled with <laughs> come in have a long talk go outside walk five steps fight him have a conversation drag him to the bridge Go b talk at the bridge. Go back to the inn. Recap what we just did. What? It's the Blight's fault. They have nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. You're welcome. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are On finished. the floor? We love doing shit for sleeping on floors. Uh-oh. We'd be delighted. Separate beds. Hey Yoshi. Quest complete. Du -du 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 -du. Building bridges. Wow, thank you so much. This needed a quest completion menu. Alright, cool. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. Are you siblings or lovers or both? Uh we are we are Consider her a sister, because she was like Bro Whoa, what is on your ear, Yoshi? Oh, you've been scratching that a little bit too hard, buddy. What the hell? Aw, poor Yoshi. Be careful. Yoshi's my dog, okay? Be careful. Aw, he has a little scab under his ear. Um, She's from another family? Is she from another royal family? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Martha gets her out. She's it's not here. She, we can she grew up with us. We we consider her a sister, but they're like trying to make it romantic now, which is kind of weird. So yeah, kind of both. Landlady, doubt of the golden stables, the tavern at the heart of Martha's rest. She's also a friend of Sid's. Ca cause, cause what? Oh, Sid's cause for the cause keeping the hide hideaway supplied with both victuals and information on developments in Western Storm. A second string to her business that she strives to keep secret from the Imperial authorities, which is why we wrote it down here. Okay. 
Alliance. Way better than Horde. Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless lend their strength to Sid's cause. There are many of many of the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find within them the courage to oppose it, knowing that what fate awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bearer liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas. Oh, is that the owl? Mon monetary assistance or direct action? All right. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. We eat them. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Yoshi, come here. What is this on you, man? I hope it's not like a tick. They have, I. Either it's the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. Oh, hold on. There's an Evolve question. Just finished ARPA. How much longer till my first reset? You are almost there, fellow Evolve player. You're almost there. Just just a couple more, okay? R rock a tree next, and then and then you'll see it show up. Treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. Ah, Thea! Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison. I let them deal with it. What? Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. What? Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. All right. Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, where where they? Fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on him. Casual reminder that uh, bearers are the ones in this world that can use fucking magic. But okay. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world. And I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an abbey. <laughs> Blademond Abbey. On the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you. And he'll show you what I mean. <sighs> Understood. Everywhere we go, tell him Martha sent you. It was good, honest work. Hey, Joe, are you enjoying this game? Uh, not that much right now, no. I guess you, you, you have to pay for 10 minutes of spectacle with, like, three hours of go here, go here, go here, Martha sent you, Martha sent you. I knew that children were tested, that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concern. I know, but for a child to be blamed... To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. So you don't think uh, one child in every ten thousand um, can't that can shoot fireballs can't be enslaved? Um, no. But is it that low? For one, I don't know if that's that's the exact numbers. Like maybe the population numbers we're seeing aren't are exactly real. I just it just doesn't ring true because it just this doesn't feel like the kind of rabid society that would do this sort of thing. Like this is. I, I don't there's just something really off about this it just feels fucking forced i don't know 
Especially considering like it's it's said to have gotten worse in 13 years. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about it that's not ringing true to me. Rosaria, sorry, Martha said it's worse for bears in in um in uh in Rosaria. And Rosaria seems like one of the nicer places. We haven't seen enough of it yet, though. How's the combat? Looks kind of dull. Yeah, it's pretty boring. It was fun at first, but it hasn't added enough yet. Let's kill a bluebird. It's definitely not as bad as the um, as what happens in Witcher Three. Let's put it that way. Because it's, it's it's introducing us established that uh, the magic users are very very oppressed, whereas in Witcher Three it just makes absolutely no fucking sense. It would be more fun if you use abilities. What abilities am I not using? Shatter? These ones? I mean, it's just like on big fights I use them. Like on trash packs, like who cares? It's just spamming. I've also done like two, three fights since we came back. I'm trying to get into the rhythm of timing the uh, this again. Why am I getting flashbacks in Xenoblade 2? Yeah, yeah, you're right. We were, we were talking about this last stream, Wuggy, yeah. K is devastated. Try using circle on this guy? I did already. You mean this circle? Circle when half staggered? I just... I just did that. I bet you anything we could top the Hypnosis fan art one day, but we need uh, to start planning as a collective. Which game do we choose? Mel Gear Solid. We've done half the work already. Sword Bash. The Broken Earth series deals with the oppressed magician by the society trope, but in an actual interesting way. Broken Earth series. Okay, never heard of it. Who's it by? It's over. I endorse Broken Earth series by N.K. Uh, Jemison. Interesting name. I don't know. I only really like to, to read fantasy series by uh, people who have double R in their initials. I'm not sure if I can do it. Or they have a name that begins with a J. So Jemison kind of fits. What about Sapkowski? Well, um, his books are good, so I don't think they count as fantasy. The series won the Hugo and the Nebula. Paid off. Paid. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows those are paid off. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Do you plan on introducing kids to books? What is the roadmap? Um, no formal plan, no. Maybe we should make one? Hmm. In my experience so far as a parent, it is excruciatingly difficult, some might even say impossible, to get your kid to be interested in something that they're not ready to be interested in, like, on their own. So, you know, you can make as many plans as you want, but at the end of the day, if the kid doesn't want to do it, the kid's not going to do it. When they're older, sure. Like, I don't know, sometimes I feel kind of like, uh, like a bad parent, because, you know, some... S <laughs> performing a psyop on your kids can be very effective. Um... <laughs> like, over, over a period of a, of, a, of a couple of months, like, we, uh, we... <laughs> like, we... <laughs> We did a complete 180 reversal on, like, shower time being something that is, like, I don't want to have a shower to, you know, you better be good or you're not getting a shower. <laughs> and it worked. Like, it's still effective to this day. It's like, what do you mean I don't get to have a shower? You know, like, so it's like, like, that sort of thing. And I feel like at this, like, it worked. It's good results at the same time. I'm like, you know, was this ethical? Like, I don't, like, I don't know. 
Uh, so I don't, I don't know. You have to play a lot of mind games with your kids, and I'm not sure if that's, uh, if that's the best, but, you know, they need to be clean. Do your kids pee in the shower? Of course they do. Everyone in this house pees in the shower. Except maybe Lily. I don't know, you have to ask her. I won't pee for Lily. Do you? Of course I do. Of course I do. Why the hell wouldn't I? I'm a, I'm a busy man. Do you fart in the shower? Yeah. Okay, do we agree? Alright, chat, chat. If you, if you need to break wind, if you need to fart, you could you can let it go pretty much anywhere as long as you're willing to say to say excuse me or whatever, but it can be considered rude. But like you have you have fart blanche to go in the bathroom, right? Like bathroom is is the fart zone, right? Like you you just like yeah, that's that's it, right? No, what do you mean no? Yeah, most people are saying yes. Yeah, the the bathroom is where it is socially acceptable that you can go there and fart, right? Anywhere is a fart zone as long as you're committed. Yeah, true, but at the same time, like, like, where is the most socially acceptable place to fart? I think the bathroom. Do you need to drop trow, or can you just like, if you're, st <laughs> if you're standing in the hallway next to the bathroom and you're like, huh, I need to fart, like, like you're, you're like stepping over like a country boundary into the bathroom and now I can let it go. It's fine, right? Out, go, you go outside the fart. I'd rather fart inside my own house than go outside the fart. When I'm outside, I need to fart. I time it with when the dogs are pooping, just in case anyone hears it from across the, the yard. And I'm like, yeah, it was the dog. It wasn't me. Next level, Dad. I think I think you're fine to fart in the bathroom. If someone else is in the bathroom, though, oh, I think I think it's polite to wait. You don't have to. Is it acceptable to blow your nose into the sink? What? No, it could it can go anywhere. Blow your nose into a tissue. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. Oh, no, Heather sent us. We're friends with Heather. We came to offer a donation. From oh, it's Martha, not Heather. My bad, sorry. What the hell's this? I see. Part of the Broken Earth is written in second person, which I found intriguing. Oh, that is intriguing. Please follow me. So it's okay to pee in the sink, which goes everywhere, but blowing nose is a no-no. In what world do you not have access to any sort of tissue or handkerchief or whatever? You don't pee in the sink just cause. You pee in the sink when there's no other recourse and there's and, and you're desperate to go. Like, no, no one's peeing in their sink recreationally. No one chooses the sink. Alright? If, if you are in a position where you absolutely do not have, like, any other option... Like, honestly, even then, I think you should just just blow into your hand and then wash your hand in the sink. Who's blowing their nose into the sink? I... I don't want to die. How is that better? You're containing it! Hold on, if you're like, if you're in the kitchen, right, and you're about to sneeze, and you don't have a tissue, are you sneezing into your sleeve? Or are you sneezing into the sink? Are you just constantly aware of how many dishes are in the sink so you're not sneezing over all of fucking, fucking, like, like, uh, the, the dishes? Like, sleeve, absolutely, sleeve, absolutely, yeah, you, you sneeze into your sleeve or, or to your, to your elbow, right? That's what you do. Well, same here, if you desperately need to blow your nose and there's no tissue, just blow into your hands and then, and then just wash your hands after. Preferably, like, get the water running beforehand so it's fine. Please, father. What do you say? You in the, the scenario you don't have any tissues. If you have tissues or something, obviously use the tissues. Blow into your arm. What do you mean blow into your arm? Now the arm is gonna be all dirty. Are you are you rolling up your sleeve first? Okay, maybe maybe I haven't considered this tech. Why not use toilet paper? If you have toilet paper, then that's that's a tissue. That's fine. This the, the okay. We're not. Ronald McDonald has has removed all the toilet paper and tissues and and paper towel and kitchen roll and and wet wipes from your house okay it's it's all gone all right and and you need to blow your nose desperately and what are you doing what what what's what's your attitude like no handkerchief nothing all right you know what he stole all your clothes too all your clothes are gone 
Are you are you your Iori? Are you blowing into your into your hand and then washing your hand, or are you blowing into the fucking sink? Who does the sink? I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Is it okay to blow your nose on the ground when outside? Who? who what? Are you spitting out of your nose? First of all, no, that is not okay. Secondly, how do you know you got it all? What are you doing? This is not okay. Yo, Joe, you can't do that? What do you mean I can't do that? Snot rockets, Joe? How are you fucking like making sure it's all clear? You have a tissue to clean it up, right? You're just fucking go, going somewhere free dangling? Like, what? What's a sink? Define a sink and also a slur? Okay. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care. How is your nose getting so blocked that you have a fucking snot rocket while outside. How did you not deal with this before? How, oh, oh shit, if I have to blow my nose, time to get rid of this, like, like tier three clog that's up there. <laughs> Here we go. Like, what? That I might ease their suffering. To the extent... Allergy, then it would be wet! Get a tissue! For the time they have left. What's going on in the game right now? Where are your outside? In your fucking pocket! Who doesn't go out without some tissues? Do we have to have another chat? Fucking, okay, here. Every single day, you should be having a shower once a day or once every other day, bare minimum. Change your underwear every day, no matter what. No matter what, when you're in the shower, clean your fucking asshole, all right? Get right in there. Also, make sure you have some tissues when you leave the house. Also, don't go outside without like a $20 bill. All right? Like, what What the fuck? Who's leaving the house without some tissues? The curse has taken them. All of them. Make your bed. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify till all that remains is stone and pain and so they are cast aside uh oh there is nothing either martha or i can do to change that but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable is it uh, bearer bearable uh, isn't martha just a landlady what's martha's secret what if your cat is in, in your bed and she's sleeping and she's very cute? What? Uh, just... What? what? Re objection? Relevance? Oh, if you want to make your bed! Oh, um, I personally would kick the cat off and then make the bed. But if you want to wait until the cat's done and you're going to come back and check later, as soon as you see the cat walking around, then go, then go make it, yeah. Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life thank you father you can't let your cat control your life oh he's just he's just dead right now okay I must offer you my own thanks. <laughs> There's a cat. I choose to blow my nose on the cat. <laughs> For the medicine you so kindly brought. Oh! Oh. Uh, their final moments may be moments of peace. Is it true having a kid or a dog will fix all your person all of a person's problems? <laughs> no. Next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Oh, here I thought we were gonna pray to some altar and see some weird vision, not come here to see where people are dying slowly. Alright, this is kinda sad. I kinda miss what happened there. So as bearers use more magic, they can they can start to get petrified. Okay. 
that seems like it we should, should be back to Martha's rest. common knowledge. Yes. Maybe it's only some of them. What psycho carries physical cash anymore? What what psycho is not prepared for when the entire fucking debit machine system goes off, goes down across Canada while you're going to the store? This happened to me, and I was happy I had a cash backup. What if there's some problem with your card or whatever? Just just keep a little bit of cash on you. Thank you for bringing us the physic. Would that we were not so reliant on Martha's kindness. But I fear we would have naught to soothe these bearers' woes without it. Save a prayer to a god that is not their own. Okay. Do you only buy twenty dollars in groceries? I ha I had more than twenty on me, but I think twenty is the minimum that you should have on you when you go out, just in case. So skipping over the fact Martha has like eight statue corpses from forcing them to use magic. Is it was Martha forcing them? I thought they were like refugees. I'm not I'm not really sure what's going on. I've kind of checked out, I'm sorry. Can I get checked back in? The last like two hours of this game have have felt like a whole entire golem, so I don't I don't know what's going on. Do you carry a plunger with you at all times just in case? Yes, and I can't tell you how many times someone has like rushed out of their house after seeing me through the window saying, oh, thank God you're here. And then I unclog their toilet. Like, like uh, not a day goes by. Where'd you keep the plunger? In my plunger holster. I have a handheld one that I keep on my hip too. For free? No, I'm not a communist. What do you think? No. Fresh cut. I get in there and I see how desperate the situation is first, and then I decide on the pricing. Oh, is the bridge done? Nope. If this was a Kojima game, the bridge would be closer to being fixed by now. We should think about pressing on. In hand. Can't be seen talking to you. If there's anything you need, ask Martha. Oh, are you a bearer? Or like, oh, you're using a crystal for it because you're not a bearer. Okay. Because you don't have the tattoo. All right. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. I blow my nose into the bathroom sink because using tissues frequently hurts my nose. What the fuck are you talking about? How are... Okay. Are you using them right? Hold on. Sensitive nose? Okay. Whoa, hold on. How, how are you dealing with the fallout without a tissue? Are you just like rinsing with water? What do you mean? Blaming the victim? I don't understand like how the tissue is causing issue. Think bidet, Joe? Oh, okay. If, if, if you are... If you are using the sink and then you're like rinsing with water instead of having to like wipe, wipe with a tissue. Okay, I could see that. Sure. But why don't you just like use a tissue to contain the the dislodging and then clean with the clean in the sink? Skill tissue. <laughs> Wasting tissue? It's not a waste of a tissue. Delicate sensitive skin and a type of applied tissue can cause irritation to people, but not at the blowing part. Like I can see it at the at the cleaning part after you have blown and now you're getting the tissue in there to wipe everything away the excess that I can see being irritating, but the blowing part, tissues are expensive. Dude, this game was a hundred dollars. Come upstairs. All right, same place as last time. So now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. 
All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that. Lily, do you blow your nose in the sink? No way. Do you do know? You? Do you know people? I do not. Do you know people do this? Why? I don't know. Is it the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink? Content. Mm -hmm. the disgusting part of the. Yeah. And you know what? That was a. Uh, I think that was a really good point. What you just said. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, really good point. One of my better moments. Yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah, it was definitely. I think that was really insightful. Yeah, I have to say, like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little teary about what you just said. I mean, that, that meant a lot to me, and I think. I'm kind of proud. I'm not. Yeah. Gonna lie. Okay. I'm, I'm, I hope they're, I hope they're impressed. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, thank you. Anyway, sorry, chap. Bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, oh, Gav. I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Okay, so the blowing part doesn't hurt, no. but the cleaning part does. And for some reason, blowing into tissue disgusts me more than blowing into sink. And yes, I am heavily disgusted by my own snot. Oh. Okay, so yeah, alright, so that, that's right. Alright, that's a different issue then. Okay, I understand that now. Okay, that's fine. I I think it's very satisfying to, uh, to, uh, to, to, to okay i realized how that was gonna sound mid-sentence and i stopped myself so you're happy <laughs> i was gonna i was gonna say i find it really satisfying to fill a tissue <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's satisfying to get a lot of snot out. You know, it's like, okay, there we go. This <laughs> is very satisfying. <laughs> you will always be welcome here. You were right, Sid. And don't you, you don't use tissues? We need toilet paper. It's 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 always nice when you have tissues instead of toilet paper. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Who are you talking to, bud? How are people even able to pee in the sink? What? Can I just not do it because I'm a woman, or am I not flexible enough? I mean, I I'm sure you could find a way, but uh, like, like a having a penis definitely helps. Yeah, it's just like standing up. Get a standing up. Those do exist. I've seen those. Yeah. The following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse: mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, foisting, fingering. Martha Brooks, no sharps. On dressing greens of Gasal. Never down raw, lest bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. Avoid the fry pan, lest foul stink taint the iron, rendering it none better than slag, and by no means put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stabled bows. If suffer, if suffer the fodder one must, first mix with nine parts drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, or three parts ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen malodor. Malodor. All right, are we done now or what? I think we're leaving. All right. Do you prefer only crunchy or soft fries or a mix of both? I think I like a mix of both. That depends on how they're prepared. Sid. All right yeah, then. Clive, you're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Ooh, that was cool. Potatoes or rice? You gotta swear off one to leave Moncton. I enjoy both, but I think I prefer potatoes to rice.
But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. Right before she died. Haven't played High Fire again, no. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. Audible walking in the background. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate. This game of Witcher 3? So far, Witcher 3. You've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Does it piss you off when someone listens to you pee? No, I pee on the side of the bowl, so it's inaudible. It's, it's a stealth piss. A absolutely, yeah. This is a non-issue, solved like decades ago. I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So right, then. Holding on, okay? Oh, the bridge is fixed. All right, that's good. Ah, the slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You're free to come and go as you please, even to the north. Now the bridge is fixed. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good, solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. Still haven't found those killers, then. Martha said the blight. It's spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. So we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Okay, so apparently this is supposed to be like a little... Should we go do the side quests? Crystalline lifeline. It's supposed to be like a little thing next to a side quest that's better. Beast against beast. We've only done like two side quests. We have to do some to see if they're good. Should we do... Let's do one. Do we want to do false friends, crystalline lifeline... Or Beast Against Beast. I think Beast Against Beast you, you can't not do. Let's do Beast Against Beast. Stay down. No, they're not good. Then why why do we have, like, why is the game getting 10s out of 10s across the board? What the, what the hell? Adam Mantois. Alright. Just, just, just feels like an MMO, man. Yeah. 
Got him. Oh wait, Jill can attack? You ever tried using chocolate milk to make mashed potatoes when you were out of regular milk? No. We've used sour cream for mashed potatoes and that usually ends up quite well. Tasting quite good. What? Yeah, that, that's a pretty regular thing, is it not? I see that in a lot of recipes. Not what you said? Sour cream? No, I meant like the chocolate milk. Yeah, the chocolate that the chocolate milk instead of regular milk seems really weird for mashed potatoes. Like I try it though. I'll, I'll try almost anything, except for liking anime. I love you, Joe. Love you too, Jackie. Oh, that was a sub message. No. Have you played any significantly long games that you thought didn't have filler? Um, hmm, I don't know. Maybe this is a hot take, but maybe someone will understand. Or maybe it's a bad take, not a hot take. Uh, I feel like Bethesda games don't really have filler because they the game is filler. It's just about wandering around doing shit and just getting distracted. So because that is the game, it kind of feels like that's all it is, you know? So technic technically it's not. Um, oh yeah, Radiant Quest, that's true. Um, I'm not sure, I don't I don't think there's a big longer game that doesn't have some amount of filler, yeah. Oh, we went the wrong way. All right, is there a chest around here? Filler can be good though. Can it? Maybe. If you want more, hmm. I guess it depends on what kind of combat system or interactions it has. My brain wants to say if it's good, it can't be filler. But I guess maybe it can be. Examples of good filler. Yeah, I'd like an example of good filler. Gwen is Gwent filler? Gwent is like a is like a mini game. It's, I, I don't know if I would call Gwent filler. I also wouldn't call Gwent good. <laughs> I think optional areas in FromSoft games are technically filler, but really good in my opinion. I don't. I don't think those are filler. Maybe we need to define filler and also define, uh, you know, I don't think something being optional makes it filler. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Curse my luck, I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. The dialogue is acted. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfords, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Well, there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastard just stood over yonder, finishing off our bait. What's the story right now? This is legit filler, well, yeah. You've seen to every last one of them. Go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. If we're a slave, why are we getting paid? Do we have to give the money to Martha afterwards? Is that what's going on? Okay, someone said the Chalice Dungeons and Bloodborne are filler. Mm, I would say that's a, like a different game mode. I wouldn't call that filler. I'm not sure it's if I would say that's filler. Back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working though. I thought Martha was uh, buying the slaves to liberate them. Yeah, but I, I, I'm assuming this guy doesn't know that. So he just sees the mark and is like, oh, Martha's slave. I see them around. I can get them to do whatever I want. Does it have to be optional to be filler? No, I don't think so. Find this Bryce and let him know the road's safe. 
Does the Witcher have filler? Yeah, I would say that has a lot of filler quests like out in the world when it comes to um, like uh, a lot of the like petty kind of content, like petty in a way like like petty cash is petty, like a lot a lot of like oh there's a treasure hunt here or like there's a there's a note to find here that sort of thing. I would say that's easily easily defined as filler to me. But like the monster contracts that you do and a lot of the story side quests, I wouldn't call those filler. Those those are there to make you feel like you're a Witcher. Is downtime filler? No, definitely not. I want to say that filler is something that doesn't have any meaningful addition to what the the game or story is trying to do, and it's just there to 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 fill um, a vacancy. But I don't know how that would work when it comes to like filler episodes of a TV show. Like I would say, a, an easy way to define filler to TV in one way would be they wanted 24 episodes in a season, but they only had enough story for 22, so they just like two episodes. They're like, ah, oh, fuck it, just have them do bullshit. What do you think of the fly episode in Breaking Bad? I really like that episode. I don't think that's uh, that's filler. That's um, that's just a bottle episode, isn't it? Maybe it is though, or maybe that was meant to be a filler episode, but they managed to. Um, to use it to, to have some story moments in there. Isn't there some like really important story beats that happen in that episode? Like I, don't, I think that, that does add to the story, does it not? Oh man. Oh, we're getting wrecked. Have you seen Expanse? I've seen the first five seasons. I haven't seen the last season. I think this conversation is being tainted because anime filler means something else entirely. Any content in anime, not in source material, even if it's made relevant or, or interesting in the adaptation. Weeb's ruining it again. What in the flurry rush was that? Minotaur main. Alright. Shooting range in Resident Evil 4 is filler? No, because I feel like that, that didn't need to be there and it was added for like a fun side distraction. I wouldn't call that filler. This is surprisingly hard to nail down. There's a whole section in uh, in the Witcher 3 video about um, side content in a similar vein as this. Because of course there is. That's why I talk about Deus Ex a bit. Where is Wit? I'm expecting some shit for that section, actually. But V shall see. Did you play Deus Ex Human Revolution and Mankind Divided? I played Human Revolution when it first came out. Um, I really enjoyed it. I didn't love it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I did not play Mankind Divided, no. Overall, I preferred the original Deus Ex, so that game was a fucking banger when it came out. To me, if you can cut something and nobody notices that's filler, uh, I feel like that's too broad of a definition because then you could take a lot of optional stuff out of a game and no one would know that it was ever taken out and I don't necessarily think that something that's optional or on the side is filler. There could be like a whole expansion to a plot line that you take out. Hey. How long have I been you, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. All right. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. It was easy. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? I mean, ya? Jill and my dog are with me, but okay. <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. Oh, that's the name of the quest. Served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. All right, that's cool. How much of the Witcher 3 video is filler? Oh, about 10 hours of it, I would say. So still a lot of rock solid good con content in there. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. I feel comfortable saying that the combat system in a lot of games is just there as filler. Or some gameplay in general for, for a lot of games to come out. Like, they, they, the designers or the director or whatever didn't really have any idea what they wanted to do. They just wanted to make a game to fill, like, a space in the market. Or they wanted to tell a story and they just needed to have combat in it because or gameplay in it. Because that's what games need to have. And, yeah. Yeah. 
So are QTs filler? I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was I th young. They can be. This area seemed a very different place back then. I don't know um, if. Uh, oh damn. I don't know what the intention is for this game. Like, I, I kind of can see where they're coming from with, hey, remember those big, huge FMV sequences, those cutscenes that you loved on the PlayStation 1 Final Fantasies? Well, in this game, they're in here, and they're in-engine, and you can play them, and it's like, oh, okay, cool. Too bad it fucking sucks. It's like, it's fucking boring. I'd rather just watch it. But I feel like I'm in the minority there, maybe. But if that was the intention, I feel like that's, that's an admirable goal. Just they didn't, they just didn't pull it off well enough. Why are you killing all the mobs? Am I, am I supposed to know which mobs are worth killing and which ones aren't? I like thought like I'm exploring. It's the, it feels like I'm what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm just playing the game. Like what's down here? He's killing all the mobs and it's making and it's making the gameplay too tedious for him. If he hadn't done that, he would have liked it more. What the fuck? Why is he just running past all the mobs and saying it's boring? If only he killed them all, he would enjoy it more. Did you check out check out the skill up review of this game? I didn't, but I hear that uh, he couldn't do the QTEs, so uh, Madka's bad. It's really shameful. Oh damn! In case anyone doesn't know, uh, I was kidding. I love skill up, and I think that if he's getting a lot of shit for his video, then that's kind of fucked up. Although I haven't watched it yet, maybe he deserves it, but I seriously doubt it. Seriously, seriously doubt it. Watch it, my weeb! I haven't finished the game yet. Why would I watch a review? This game of Forspoken, this game is better than Forspoken, like by at least half a point. So like, let's let's not go crazy. All right, what was he? That was it, just a fight. Okay, he was uh, surprisingly a little little tricky. Maybe I'm a little rusty on the dodge timings. Is there any reason to not spam heal outside of combat? I don't think it lets you. Yeah, for whatever reason it doesn't let you. I feel like the heal only heals you up to the damage you take within the fight too. Do you not watch a review to consider whether or not it's worth uh, playing? Um, if I'm trying to play something for my own enjoyment, yeah, I will do that, but it's pretty rare that I'm playing something for my own enjoyment and it's not about like a stream or like checking something out like like it, it's it's my job to make make the videos telling people if something is worth their time you know what i mean so uh, to some extent like i should just play it and figure it out you know like and and get some practice in at least the amount of times i've seen some like survival crafting early access game on steam and i'm like on youtube going like why are there no reviews to tell me if this is good or not and then a little voice goes in my head saying that's your job dumbass and i'm like well <laughs> like fuck <laughs> So I don't want to play this. <laughs> oh, it's another bridge. Is it going to break? Is this on performance? It is, yeah. How's the game so far? It's okay. Quiet. Isn't it? Yes. You. You're Clive Rossfield. Uh oh. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Who? Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. ATL, I I know who it is. I'm being a shitter. It's the guy we're yeah, the guy we're fighting at the beginning, who's totally not a traitor. Wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool. Are, is is Rodney dead? Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army, are then fought only by his firm friend, Archduke Elwyn. Murdoch and his shield accompanied Elwyn and Joshua the Phoenix Gate to perform the rite of ancestral communion, only to be set upon by first by Imperial infiltrators and a secondary second shadowy icon of fire with the, within whose flames Murdoch was engulfed. Okay, so he might still be alive. All right. It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <laughs> if 
If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Considering one of the big beasts is a, is a phoenix, anyone can be alive. That's probably how Joshua is still alive. Yeah, you did kill me, but my icon is a phoenix, dumbass, so I just came back from the ashes. Oh, okay. You killed me with fire. You helped. You turned me to ash. I've been wandering the world ever since. Uh, kinda, yeah. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. Should play the chaos game. I do want to play the chaos game. It looks fun. Would you like the next DMC game to be open world? Absolutely. Yeah, the tears would be glorious. Easy, but we survived. Oh, I would and love that so much. Yep. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. After Doom open world, the don't don't no 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 too far. Too far. Oh man, I could go for some tea. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. Just move, Lamayo. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Will your game be open world? No, our game is not open world. The is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. You can explore a bit, though, but it's not open world. Should I say, Her Imperial Majesty? Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrek heralded a great many changes here. Yes, of course. Oh, forgive me. I, I didn't mean to. Please, there is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, oh. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. Well, that's where we're going. He's still there. We'll find him. Oh! <gasps> It wasn't Pride. you. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Have you revealed if your game is fantasy, sci-fi, etc.? Yes. Which one? Yes. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? This is a running joke. I can't. Not after what I did. Is your game going to get rave reviewers Lady from Hannah YouTubers? One of them at least. For you in the morning. She really has been very kind. years without the faintest glimmer of hope <laughs> it was only Joshua that kept me going I swore that I would avenge his death that I would kill his killer that was the only thing that gave my life any meaning If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. What? What did when you I do? Thought, hundreds died. Oh, oh, yeah. There were so many bodies. 
So many lives cut short in their prime. Actually, you know what, Clive? Actually, she's done like way worse than you. What are you doing, Clive? Clive, shut up! Fucking like, there's Joker in the corner doing like the the slicing of the neck thing. Like, no, no, no. XX. Thank you, uh, JaffaCon. Oh, is that where you go to discuss Jaffa cakes? All the ways to eat them. You know what? I hate to say it. I've kind of got gotten off of ja off Jaffa cakes. Sometimes we, we would get some imported and I would have some. And like they were my favorite like cookie slash cake slash biscuit from, from the UK. And it was always a nice treat to have them. But lately when I've had them, I'm kind of like, you know what? Kind of mid. Kind of mid. I'm kind of going off them a little bit. I think I enjoy the custard creams a little bit more. Do you like a Terry's chocolate orange? I love a Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, absolutely. Drink it with a bit of tea. Like put put a slice of cherry chocolate orange in your mouth, then have a have a swig of hot tea. Keep it in your mouth to melt the chocolate a little bit. Really, really good. Really, really good. They have gone downhill though, and the fact that they like shaved like half of the chocolate slices off on the inside is just a crime. Maybe they they're not surviving the importation as they should. The recipe for Jaffa cakes changed a while ago. They're nowhere near as good as as the old days. Maybe that's why then. Maybe it's not me. Hmm. That day in Dalmechia. I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. You get Is going- is going- going off of something? Like, I'm off them? Like, is that a, a Britishism? Can you not be British Canadian for one stream? Can you not be a fucking weeb for one stream? What would you be? If living meant being that... JK, I love you. ...to be just another body. It was a good comment. Okay, sorry, here's some legitimate criticisms for the game. Him suddenly crying like that was awkward as hell. That needed a little, like, I think that could have worked if there were just a couple of, like, lines between the two of them there instead of it just, like, all of a sudden I'm looking at the moon and now I'm crying. That was really weird. Like, that, that, that rare for this game, I know, but that actually needed more, not less. That needed a couple of lines to bridge that there. That was that was that came out of fucking nowhere. That was weird. That, don't get me wrong. It, it's kind of realistic. Sometimes people just get upset out of nowhere. But like when it comes to like like a story you're presenting in this way, like that that was like wait what what's going on? That that was that was odd. Do you remember that night on the balcony when we looked up at the moon? Yeah, I was there. Played it twice. I said a prayer to Metia, and that prayer was answered. Was it that I would turn into Ifrit? Oh, subtle. Came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Are we gonna... Are we gonna trauma bond? What? D Clive, Clive, you... F you f Clive, you fucking idiot. We should get some rest. <laughs> right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Wonder how Gav is right now. They were literally crying, crying a moment. Is this uh, a second ago? Is this the moment? Ha have you not watched any media before? When people are upset and crying over it, that's that's like bang flags are going up all over the place. Writers and media seem to think that as soon as people are alone and they're talking about that, the, the time to fucking have sex, because because that's what you want to do. Like, no, <laughs> but okay, that's it's all over the place in media. Thank you. Now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. <laughs> Happens a lot with injuries you too. Have some of my father's old clothes. Oh. Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. 
sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Will you stream Lies of P? Not only will I, I already have. They suit you well. It's locked in. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Are you planning on playing the Elden Ring DLC on stream? And no fucking way I'm doing that to myself? Very Absolutely well. not. Nope. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invictus, Median Cro Did we just, just get a better sword? Just cause? Why? Because there, there, to this day, there are still people that think I didn't engage with all the mechanics in Elden Ring, and that's why I hated it. When I say in the video, and have footage in the video of me using magic items and summons in the fucking Spirit Ash summons, did a whole ass playthrough doing all that shit, just to see if it would be fun. And there's still, like, fucking people still say this shit. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not engaging with those fans in stream format. No, it would be fucking terrible. Look, look what, uh... Look what the Final Fantasy Defense Force is doing to me. Didn't you like the game too? I really enjoyed Elden Ring. The the fucking like first like I don't know, sixty percent of that, seventy percent of it is like fucking like ten out of ten. Like it's such a fucking cool ass game. All right, do we want to put? I feel like eight percent Cy Scarlet Cyclone damage is like the plus five percent poison resistant meme. That's kind of shit, isn't it? All right, so we just got we just got a new weapon. It's way better. Why am I upgrading my weapons like a dumbass? Just like, eventually it'll just give me better ones. Holy shit! I wasted so many materials! Wait, is this for, is this for like... I was gonna say this, is this for pre-ordering, but this isn't on Steam, is it? I went to the store and bought this. What am I fucking talking about? They just gave this to us. Alright. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. I love the Tears of the Kingdom streams, but the reading chat was uh, frustrating. Yeah, like like me not understanding the importance of fusion within the, within a nanosecond of getting it was apparently just oh, this is fucking unacceptable. This is fucking unacceptable. I'm quoting fucking Eagle Raptor now for some reason. Like, yeah, give me a second. I thought it was like to add fun effects to, to weapons and shit. I didn't think it was like necessary. I got there eventually. Let me play. You're buying, I'm selling. No, I just got a better one than that. All right, where are we going? East pool. We're going this way. Thankfully, there's no way anything could go wrong with Ghost Trick, so it's going to be good and safe fun. Yeah, there's no way that's like a like a has a cult following from their from their classic underappreciated hit that if I don't like, there's going to be hell to pay. There's no way. You. Those are Elwins. Who are you? You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. It is Rosfield. You're mistaken. No, I'm not. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. <laughs> the self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Oh, is it time for, for bearer collection side quest? Tutorial time. <laughs> Scattered throughout the world are, are 55 bearers that, that were scattered that, that were lost after the battle. If you retrieve them all, you can take them back to your hideout and give them a home. Give them some some tasks or some extra resources that will drip in every single time you go. <laughs> it's not slavery if you do it. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families.
When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary and never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house. And still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. Egg delivery? If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Is this a main quest? As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bear out. Dude, your dad kept slaves. He's not here. Is the mayor gonna show up now and wipe away the foundation he had covering the bearer mark? I've let the mayor down once already. <laughs> It'll be cruel. <laughs> what? <laughs> disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Paul, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? I do mind. Am I being oh, detained? In a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt you'll have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Thank you. Did you all see the video that was making the rounds on the weekend of the of that guy that got out of his uh his I think it was a pickup truck and tried to punch through the passenger uh window of the car to get to the lady inside? And she just like like uh, like he just kept punching and punching and punching and pu I don't know how many times he punched this fucking window. And then later that night after I watched it, there was like a, there was a mosquito in the bathroom and like I, I, 
I didn't try to punch it, but I like I tried to squish it against the wall and didn't flatten my hand the whole entire way. And like it hurt a lot. And I'm like, what the fuck is that guy going through if he just like full punched a fucking like like window that many times and I just hurt my hand a little bit just trying to kill a mosquito. I got him though. His hand is super broken. I don't understand how he could continue punching after the first like one. Good day, milady. Adrenaline? Yeah, maybe. I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry. What? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. Is it moral to bang your fourth cousin? Fourth cousin is not not great grandparent, great grandparent, great great grandparent, great 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 grandparent. I think that's okay at that point, probably. If you have a really tight knit family, then no. That would be the exception. But I think at that point it's okay. There's an ear, I suppose. I can't imagine the Viceregen stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be around here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too what far. What is this DreamWorks Thank smirk you. this guy's got going we'll on? Keep looking. Great grandparents. Oh, what's his endgame? Hey, hold on a mo. What? Young Patrick. The chocobo keeper might know where he is. He's taking the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. What are the odds Patrick he just happened to die on this one specific Thank day? You. I mean, the, given the coincidences the game has started us so far, it's, it's definitely possible. Why is the so shadow on Jill's hair fucked up? Making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up It can't be helped. Come on. Let's head for the stables. I don't understand how she's your sister when your parents owned her, right? It was, it was like, honorary sister. She's not, like, real sister. It's like, it, the game was, like, very explicitly, she's, like, a sister to Joshua and Clive. But apparently it was, like, like it wasn't like, oh, she's my honorary sister. It's more like she's my honorary Oni-chan, I guess. Childhood friend. No, it, it, it explicitly said sister. They, like, they, they consider her a sister. This is, the game said this. Bloody hell's he got to? Oh no, troubled youth. Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot, but... Do you know that children raised together in communal style living situations often don't develop feelings for each other even if they aren't related? Yeah, I, di I did know that, yeah. And and the opposite is true. If um if siblings can be long separated and they never had any interactions and they didn't even know they were related, then yeah. Like, yeah. It makes perfect sense, right? Yeah. Well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... I am and Patrick. And this bearer you're looking for... He's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in East Pool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Hey, I watched 10 hours of VODs in one day to catch up to this series. Why? <laughs> I hope you watch it at times two speed. The last two hours have been like so boring. Ah, so we only did one side works. quest. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. We're due for break actually. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Do you know your VODs are 60 frames per second due to times 2 speed? Aw, oh, plus 2. That's pretty good. 
or X2. Eh? Still no sign. Oh, and here I was exploring this area on my own earlier, like a fucking dumbass. Oh shit. I already killed the, the wyvern thing, so we do we have to kill it again? Look. There's someone over there. Step away from the ledge. We should hurry. Oh no! We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Why, why aren't they bothering okay. him? So if we hadn't killed that thing earlier, he would be dead by now. Huh. It's over. I used to live on an island and I helped with kids and their education. I cannot express how often the kids told me they had a crush on their own cousin over the course of the first year. Ofsted? What? The education board called our island inbred for a reason, I guess. Damn. Damn. Are you alright, my friend? Come on. Thank you for sharing. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came. I'm. How old? Maybe it was just like harmless crush, like at that certain age or whatever. Hmm. Not who you think. Clive. Just pretend. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last. He answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Beastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Is this a joke? Of course, your grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. And then he died. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. A but final one. Than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Which is where you come in. Is it really that bad? Town building minigame. So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. And he has three trees to grow food. Three. As soon as I return from You know, the after all this, they're, they're gonna have to add another tree. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. So what were people raving about this game feeling when they were playing this part of the game? I'm honestly confused. I am too. I d like, like, 
a little bit of downtime is fine, but this is excessively long. This is like a whole movie. How do you ignore two hours of just like, wow, this is boring. And then it got more boring. And then it got more boring. The Deadlands are Maybe this is the worst part. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. And when the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants. No animals. No life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. Now let's turn a corner. There'll be monsters. There's gonna be a monster down here. Oh, time to fight a fight a Valkyrie. What's this? Another relic of the fallen. Okay, why is it letting me use sword but not magic? Hmm. They won't be able to use any magic here. Oh, okay. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the lad's life force. And problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blight took it. I remember. It was beautiful. It's only like a little bit of it has been has been blighted. Okay. Like, we're out of it. Joe, now's a good time for a break. Yeah, I think we're going to take it after the scene. There it is. Phoenix Gate. Where it all went wrong. Did <laughs> Come on, it's time to discover the truth. The Dim. Not long ago, this was a, lust, a, a lush forest teeming with life, but that was before the blight rendered it a twisted tangle of rotting boughs, shunned by even the foulest vermin. Alright, so we're going here. Alright, so this is where we are, and we're going here. Okay, Phoenix Heart Ruins. Alright, let us take a break now, and you guys can enjoy the uh, the cool, soothing Final Fantasy music, which is actually legitimately good. Anyway, we're back. Alright, I'm back. Ready for some more exciting Final Fantasy 16? It's got to pick up now, right? This was kind of like the weird return to your home interlude. Maybe they wanted to be like this calm kind of time with Jill, but they didn't really succeed. You know, it was just misguided. It's like nothing else is going to is gonna be that bad now. It's just going to be great time from here until the end now. That's it. I get the feeling that you're not too keen on this game. May I suggest an alternative? Is it going to be Baldur's Gate 3? Probably. Here we go. Oh, we're just here. Okay. Can we play System Shock Remake instead? That'll be even more boring. Let's play Factorio. Phoenix Gate ruins the Imperial Province of Rosaria. It's almost as if time had stood still. Oh, there's there's Murdoch. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. No. It's just as I left it. Uh-oh. Is that Murdoch? Wait, would a little pile of ash like that survive 13 years of, of weathering? Buried memories. <laughs> Could I have done this? 
could anyone? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I didn't know that it was this bad. You know what? Who's a good boy? Oh, I'll pat you. I'll pat you. I will. Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He is. Yeah, he's a good boy. What is it, Togo? He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. What possible reason would Joshua have for, like, leading us on like this? It's just gonna be plot bullshit, isn't it? You never asked. It was the only way to get you here. Like, like lol, you should've been faster. Whatever. This is how it had to be. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. like a bloody eel hand broken what is this place anyway some sort of shrine oh sorry you've never been here before this is the hall of the gate the gate the phoenix gate yeah it's right a there. relic of the fallen only the phoenix's dominant can open it hence the castle's name oh uh -huh. dungeon time this was where joshua was supposed to He's been down here the whole time, gathering strength. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Like this. And then the door opens. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Huh, I wonder Perhaps where. He went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. What if he had the power of the Phoenix? <gasps> no. Wait. I'm Joshua. Oh my god, I never knew. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Gav. Are you sure about this? Never more. Wait, hold on. I thought no one could come with you. Oh, okay. Alright, so... This came from the Red Star Planet, right? Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Dungeon time. Time to fight some monsters. This place really be a fallen ruin. It's dungeon it's time. It ruin. It's perfect. Like it was built yesterday. Oh, maybe this is like Scientology, where all the icons are just ghosts of the dead alien race that fell here, and they're giant ships, and they inhabited some people, like whatever they're called in Scientology. Have you ever seen anything like this? Do, 
do 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 do. Jill. Spider aliens? What do we do? The usual. Kiss my bump. Are these just reskin spiders we fought outside? Fallen bug. experience without stopping the game. They can do it. Why don't they do it earlier then? Alright, here we go. More trouble. Yeah, these are aliens for sure. Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. This is what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. That reminds me when I was a kid, I wrote a short story <laughs> and my uncle read it and he put me on absolute blast. He like he laughed for ten minutes at my story because I had a character named Arthur who introduced himself by saying I am Arthur said Arthur <laughs> this will be completely on blast just, he just wouldn't let it go <laughs> Deserve though, deserve don't be wrong. The fucking terrible line. I learned I did learn from that, yeah I did. Say one about the game, Jill's design is a good take on the ice spell sword summoner. Uh yeah, I think her outfit looks pretty good, yeah. It's too bad that there's just, like, nothing in the outfit. She's just a complete nothing character so far. Hopefully she gets some development. It, it, they started in that barn scene, and then they just went nowhere. So maybe that's the beginning of something good. Looks like it could take a beating. Then let's get so every dominant kid that went through the gate just died, right? Uh, no, actually, um, Joshua could fight. His magic was insanely strong, so I think he would have been fine. Joe, you play God Hand? I have not played God Hand, no. Do we have a parry? We do, but it's kind of awkward to get to, to execute, so I'm not doing it. Please feel free to use that as an excuse to um, to nullify any criticism that I have. None. That's, that's a freebie. That's that, that's for you. You have to attack the enemy when... Not as they attack you, right before they attack you. We've pulled it off a bunch of times, but always accidentally. Uh, what did we just get? Uh, increases gouge damage by 15. Gouge! Uh, what's that? No, the, fucking who cares about... Wait, does the gouge damage increase its... Um, it's stagger, maybe. Hmm. Have you upgraded your icon abilities, or do you not want to do that? I'm saving for for um this one, which I can buy. Oh, cool. I'm saving. I'm saving for the big ones. Do okay. Do I want flames of rebirth, or do I want aerial blast? Aerial blast does like a huge amount of stagger damage. 
but this is like it's ours right and it also gives some some hp back i i, I think i wanted this one all right so what are we getting rid of are we getting rid of uh oh we can upgrade it too are we getting rid of um uh rising flames or scarlet cyclone i feel like scarlet cyclone does more damage even though it doesn't say that it does hmm does it i mean this one's more expensive you can reset heat wave to get the points back a and and what just like should i just share my reddit username at the same time like no thanks i'm good all right how do i gear and icons I definitely want that to be let's let's move it to flames of rebirth okay joe k just made me laugh give her a marble okay that's all it takes huh what all it takes what i was just saying okay like like okay like that's what k does like yeah what the hell are they bombs whatever they are i don't think they're friendly oh let's use a new ability Uh-oh. 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 Ferret favorite DMC? Probably the first one. Um, I played it when it first came out and I was just blown away by it. If we're talking about pure gameplay, that would be a lot harder. Probably, probably three or five, I guess. But like, I really like the first one overall. Would Joshua have had to run this gauntlet too? No. At least not that I ever heard about. I imagine the Phoenix would receive a warmer welcome. I choose Persona Five anime before they fix all the animation errors, so that way nothing is gained from from, from the weebs and everyone suffers. Respectable choice. All right. Lock it in. Five is so good, but it has V. And his brother, Urgil. Here we go again. Where will we end up this time? Surrounded by contraptions hellbent on murdering us, I expect. Could the hooded man really have taken this path? We won't know until we've followed it all the way to the end. Come on, let's keep looking. If he did, how do you get past the monsters? Do they respawn? Like, well, this is an MMO, so of course they respawn. But like, do they respawn that quickly? Hmm. I wonder. Um. I wonder how we didn't destroy any of this during our fight. Very convenient. Hey Joe, how's the game been this stream? Uh, really boring for the first two hours, but it's picking up a little bit now. The Rising Flames, you know, it does a lot of damage, but it has a long-ass cooldown, huh? This or Nier's Combat? Oh, that's... That's a hard one. They both look good, but are actually kind of like mad to play after a while. Um, I think maybe this one over Nier, but I didn't play Nier on hard mode. I heard that Nier, on, Nier Automata on hard mode makes it better. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's what I, heard, that's what I have heard. Am I unironically getting a marble? I need to know if I should laugh maniacally in, in Den because everyone is trying to bribe me to not commit this bit. I mean, if that's the bit you're going for, then yeah. I I embrace the chaos, sure. Yeah. 
Man, that did not heal a lot, did it? I thought I was supposed to heal. Maybe it only heals what what damage you've taken. There's more of them. That's enough. These bombs are a bit tanky. I wonder if I should be using the wind on it. Upgrade abilities are like two, two times stronger. Yeah, but like, I mean, didn't I upgrade all the, the regular attacks and stuff? Like the, the game... Is is this all bullshit? Am I a misunderstanding? Is, are these the only things that matter? Because if that's the case, then the combat's kind of shit. Like, I'm not using that. Uh, I'm not really using that. Uh, I guess I'm using that now and then. Stomp I'm not using at all. The air attacks seem kind of kind of bad. We just spent all we saved all our points for a long time for this one. Oh, we can get this ability now. That's good. We can get rising flames upgraded. We can upgrade it again. Nice. So we should get um I don't know if I want to save up for that if I want to upgrade one of the other ones. The stomp and air attacks are fantastic. I'm glad you enjoy them, Chatter. I find them kind of awkward and not worth it. The amount of air time you get is not that great. Gilgamesh? No. He looks like somebody. Who am I thinking? Alexander? No. Seems the feeling's mutual. That was a parry. My wounds, boy. Not a fan of being locked in. I can't dodge out of that sometimes. That's weird. Hold on. I, I could have swore I, I dodged out of a out of a special earlier. Did he hit me and that's why I couldn't dodge? Maybe I was too too slow. Ooh, it freezes time. Interesting. Oh no, it doesn't. I'm blind. Press the attack. What does that mean? Not so long, it is. With me. I'm pressing the attack. DPS check, it is an MMO, that's true. Yeah, you can dodge out of it. I just must have fucked up the timing.
it does freeze time! I wasn't blind! Oh, nice. Okay, that's cool. Hey, Joe, I just wanted to say thanks for uploading your VODs of Tears of the Kingdom. I found myself getting annoyed at a couple of your criticisms, and it made me realize I still need to hate Nintendo more. I appreciate you helping me realize my shortcomings. Sincerely and, I, and unironically, thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. They keep attacking us. It's because you're here. Only the icons will signal in. They're probably asking themselves the same thing. We're the ones trespassing here. They're just protecting their home. Are these characters good so far? Um, no, but they're not bad either. They're just kind of nothings. I don't know. There's not much going on. Jill, look. It's not the hooded guy, right? You'll be running after him. Okay, good. Alright, Stranger Things. I like it. Is that some kind of mural? It's worth a closer look, whatever it is. Favors of the Wind, Wicked Wheel? Uh, increases wicked wheel damage by 10%. Wicked wheel. Okay. I really like Clive personally. Is it because of um, how he looks? <laughs> Are you further ahead? Does he get better? Like, I don't dislike him, but so far he's just kind of like nothing. I kind of thought Sid was a good character. Well, Sid's not here. Sid, Sid's all right. Sid's probably been the best character so far, apart from the obvious, which is Gav. No map? Okay. Sid being better than Clive is a pure crack take. Oh. Holy shit. What have we tapped into here? Another boss? All right then. I agree. All right then. I didn't heal. Oh shit. All right. Lich. This time. Oh, it's just an enemy. Alright, place your bets now. How many of these are gonna spawn? After oh, it's still not up after the, the other fight. What are you doing, Clark? Was I hitting the wrong button there, or was I stun locked in? Dodge out of the claws. I, I'm pretty sure I did it earlier. How was that thing? It wasn't like the others. It would seem this place holds even more secret. I am staring straight into my screen at you, Niors. Can't dodge out of the claws. Did you mean the enemy's claws? Maybe you meant the enemy's claws. There you go. There's your out. 
No, I finished the game this morning. What the fuck? I am wrong. Maybe it's later in the animation you can't do it? Respect for not taking the out. Yeah, you can't at the at the very end, you can't do it. Huh. Okay. We were both wrong. I could have said we're both right, but I chose to do it that way. Seems like for the last maybe uh, quarter of it, you can't dodge out. That sounded like uh, Ori in the Blind Force there for a second. Man. Lights. Well, that did something. That part in uh, Will of the Wisps where you're fighting the boss and then you start like like climbing and the and the like the Ori motif kicks into the music. Oh man. Oh man. That's one of my favorite boss fights. Alright, can we like wipe a room with this? God damn, holy shit! Is it worth to play the blind forest first or just this, the second one? Um Alright, so I don't know if this is true or not, but I kind of feel like if you play Will of the Wisps, it's kind of like a Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild situation, that if you went back, it would be really hard to go back to Blind Forest after playing Will of the Wisps. I could be wrong on that. They, they, it's not like it uses the same map or anything. It, it, they are very different. But, like, Will of the Wisps, you can actually attack, like, um, directly. Like, you have, like quote-unquote weapons that you can use that you can actually i don't always say quote-unquote because they are weapons but they're like made of energy and light and shit you can actually like like attack and positioning matters whereas in ori in the blind forest it does it all for you you just press a button over and over and over and over and over again to, and it just shoots for you so they're very very different um i would say if you love those kind of games just pro probably play the first one just just to um just what to here? avoid potentially robbing yourself of the Another experience The story of the second one might hit a little harder if you play the first one too, if you go in for that. The water tree from the first one is worth an IMO. Those sections got a lot of hate when they when they when they came out, and I thought they were fantastic. The music in those sections too. Oh man, oh man, Ori's Sorry. so good. It isn't a dead end after all. Prefer Hollow Knight, but Ho Ori's Apparently really good. Apparently not. I do think the bosses in Ori two might be better overall though because of how they pull off spectacle with actual like interesting gameplay the final fantasy 16 could have unironically learned a couple things from it like i'm not kidding like like some of the bosses in ori 2 are like what the fuck how is this not a cutscene? like like oh my god they're gorgeous um when uh but and you can still play them so yeah they're so cool the gameplay is probably a, a bit better in hollow knight for that though how the fuck do you get more uranium in evolve um you buy it. R Uranium is something that you want to purchase for it for the most part. Thankfully, it's it's only very small quantities, but yeah. Iridium and Uranium are the two things that you're going to be buying more than anything else. You're not really going to be able to mine it yourself. Everything else you can get on your own. Which game has a slower start, Hollow Knight or Ori? Um, they're both pretty slow. I would say Ori is probably slower. And look what's in it. My only problem is that launch aces sometimes lose the tension if you die at the end and have to repeat them. Skill tissue? Skill issue? Yeah, I, I feel you, yeah. This is. That looks cool. A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. Kafka? You 
You're him. The second dominant of fire. No, you're you? you're the second dominant of fire. <gasps> oh, there are two hooded people. You know you know you know you Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Music seems to think this is really important. Joshua died. I killed him. Yeah, we know. I we blamed another for what I did to spare myself the guilt. Okay. I feared the bay. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran from everything. And now, are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. Where did my phoenix go? Oh, well, this isn't gonna go well. Remember to how bitter the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are.
really intelligent people in the chat. Okay, I don't know if this is what you're referring to, but it seems like there are some people in chat who are getting angry at other people in chat for not already knowing everything that happens in the game after this. Some of us have no idea what happens after this. We're just we're just playing the game, we're watching along with the game. We have no clue what comes next, all right? As of this moment, this is pretty bad. Like, I, I, like I, I don't really know for sure what's going on. I don't think I'm meant to. Like, it seems to be doing the same reveal over and over and over again. Like... If they justify it later, or there's something better happens later, whatever. Cool, fine. We'll enjoy it when we get there. But as of right now, we can only judge the information that we've been given. And the information we've been given so far, in the ATL especially, has been kind of meh. Alright, we're fighting Ifrit. This is not going to go well. Fight fire with fire. <laughs> Dodging from one foot to the other, that's kind of cool. God damn it! Not this time. Whoa. Yeah. Fight fire with fire. That felt kind of too easy almost. Phase two. Versus goatee. You deny it. Even with the truths staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Face your fears.
Devil trigger pulled? <gasps> Do we get that now? I see. You'd have me learn my example. Oh shit. Well that, that was a waste. Is this gonna be off cooldown time? Doesn't look like it. Oh shit, what was I supposed to do? Oh man, I wasn't expecting that. Holy fuck, okay. Alright, hellfire time. Alright. I thought he just was summoning a bunch of fly fire pillars around. I was didn't realize it was gonna explode at the end of it too. believe the chat can like things and dislike things without putting each other down nah no you can't well what's going on chat right now i've been playing the game is there civil war oh shit no escape eh? it's all right i'm done running from you this chat war has better writing than the actual game i feel like this is part of the war Devil trigger, here we go. Accept the truth. What if I don't? It's a hard truth to accept. Oh, it moved. Nah, I don't want to accept the truth. Deny reality. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. No? Alright, let's do it. It's literally Dante. Show yourself, you free. I mean, I, I, I can, I can't see very well. I can't see very well. I guess this is what I'm just supposed to do.
He slaps the table. Was that the Gravity Rush 2 veins inside there? Oh, I see health bar. Square and R1 appearing on the screen. Yeah, here we go! Dude, dude. <laughs> really? Fucking, fucking, really? Fucking, really? Okay. Yay, we got a fire shard for confronting our demon. The power of, uh, of the icon Ef Ifrit made manifest. This shard of crystal is hot to the touch and can, be, and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Oh, it's like a seashell. Okay. <sighs> What? Limitless power? Oh, you did the, the, the decay challenge? Eight megawatt oil power plants? Limitless power. That's a joke for five of you. Please enjoy. Oh, a trophy. Man, modern day gaming needs to, like, get its shit together, huh? Way to ruin the fucking moment. What the fuck? Clive. Are you alright? Yeah. Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. Wait, if that was all in her head, how did we get the fire shard? And the 80 bag of oil dust no more chasing shadows the hooded man isn't here we should go okay okay hold on one second though clive clive jill and torgal both saw him though love so like there was somebody here someone was here all right Oh man, we fast traveled out. Why does Hi-Fi Rush have better cutscenes in VA than this? Because Hi-Fi Rush is a good game. That sequence wasn't bad in terms of spectacle, but in terms of the story, I Clive, I don't know what it's trying to do. Are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. Boss fight wasn't bad either. I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. VA is bad. No, the VA is not bad. Well, I mean, but some of it's I been bad. For certain, who I really am. Clive and Jill have been good, though. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother, and burned this castle to the ground. I don't like that sky. Was me. Ifrit. Oh, Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. 
And I must atone for the crimes I've committed. But not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? Someone's about to appear right now. I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers together. Together! I want to learn the truth too. Anyone else like like starting to develop a sense for when together is gonna show up in the script? Like when she stepped forward before the subtitle even showed up, my mind went I, she's about to say together. <laughs> like, it's just like it's coming, I can sense it. <laughs> There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth. Even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet, they're what brought us back together. Together! Thank you, Jill. <coughs> yeah, there's someone else here! It's fucking Roxas. Here, then. Uh oh. The disturbance I felt at the care must have been confounded. The hour is later than I thought. Wait, so you don't know what's going on? Wait, ooh, you... It just happenstance? I thought Hugo would have been a bigger deal so far. Castle Dazbog. Oh, he's here! Oh, okay. Is it a head in a box? The man who delivered, who, who delivered the coffer said, he said Sid paid him. <laughs> Hold on, one second. ATL Hugo Cup Cup Ka. Cup was awakening as the dominant of the icon of the icon Titan thrusts him into the forefront of Dalmechian politics, winning him influence over both the Republic's armies and his policy making, as well as a personal fortune. He has little love for his country, taking advantage of his position to benefit himself and himself alone. His love for Benedict the Harmon, however, is absolute, and he would gladly betray his every ally just to be with her. Oh. Yes, NTR, the Dalmechian Republic, a, no, a, no, a nation formed uh, from the federation of five smaller states. It is located in the southern half of the continent of Storm and has its ca capital at Randella, also home to the mother crystal known as Drake's Fang, inside which stands Castle Dazbog, home of... Oh, the castle is, in, is inside the mother crystal? Or... Maybe it's at the city. Okay, never mind. We'll find out. Probably home of Hugo Kupka, a dominant of Titan and of Titan and Warden of Earth. He's a Titan. He's an icon and a Warden. Castle Dazbog, a castle built in, built within the dome-like mountain that contains Drake's Fang. Oh, there we go. It is the prime. We did find out it is the primary residence of Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan, and is lavishly appointed to suit his extravagant tastes. All right. Look, with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me. <sighs> Find out where he is. Oh, wow. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. Wow. Send every last one of them to This is a very intimidating villain. No. Yes, yes, my lord. 
I'm so scared. It's her head in a box. It's probably the pendant thing, right? It's gotta be. There's no way Sid cut her head off and put it in a box. Sid seemed to really care for her. The meaning of life. Alright, this is gonna be a heavy chapter. Ifrit Awoken. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new iconic abilities such as Ignition. The remix of? A fiery lunge that drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage, as well as unlocking the Limit Break gauge. Limit Break? Nice. Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with those of for the Phoenix. What? And can be confirmed via the abilities in the tab menu. Limit Break. Limit Break Gauge is located beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's Inner Beast and Semi Prime. <laughs> but if you turn it to Ifrit, it's not just Semi. It's full on Prime. It's an Ifrit by pressing L3 and R3. When this gauge is full, the gauge, the gauge fills uh, in battle both by taking damage as well as by successfully performing offensive and defensive maneuvers. Semi Priming temporarily grants increased attack potency and speed, gradual HP regeneration, and guard breaking strike. L literally Devil Trigger. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. So Nothing wrong next? with that. We return to I, like, I like Devil Trigger. Ifrit Channeled. Oh. Oh. Limit break. Okay, well, I, ha I have that. I could upgrade it. Well, damn, I wish I hadn't spent all these points upgrading this shit up here. Alright, uh, ignition. Attack while charging, inflicting multiple hits and forcing the enemy back can be used in midair. Uh, summon a storm of fireballs that circle about Clive damaging nearby targets while also absorbing damage. Eh, that seems kind of shit. Alright, ignition... Honestly, ignition seems kind of like whatever too. Like I think I'd prefer to have rising flames. Uh, are they? Do they take the same slots? My read on that was that I would go here and I would actually like. Uh, wait, can I put the Garuda one? Oh, okay, it's not. All right, I thought maybe I could put the Garuda one on the fire set. All right, that that makes sense. I promise the man. Ignition is great. Do I have it? Like, I have to buy it, right? Oh, it's only 120. My bad. I thought it was like 1,200. Uh, let's let's get it. All right. So now I get to, to figure out... Shit, why do I keep doing this? Now I get to figure out where it goes. I, I My read on... Yeah, it is, it is like that. All right. So let's put it on here. Let's replace some um, Rising Flames with it for now. And let's see what it's like. Maybe it's more fun. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction then. Everyone's memeing because the streamer man says it's bad. I feel like chat has been more negative than I have, and sometimes preemptively is negative before I've said anything. I don't know. As a general rule, I don't know if, for maybe even more than a year now, I find that my chat is more negative than I am, and I don't think they're like memeing either. It's, it comes across as legit to me. Growl. What are you growling at, Torgal? Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. I wonder if uh, we can open that uh, door now that we have uh, Ifrit. <laughs> no. Uh oh. <sighs> what happened here? Yep, he's dead. Let me check again. Imperial Curious. Legionnaire. You'll pay for this. Ah, we've got <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the 
Remember our orders? No survivors! Who would order such a thing? <laughs> that is a, a very silly looking move. I like it, but it's very silly looking. You can use it in the air to jump across the gap if you try hard enough. Nah. You can't jump across anything in this game. It's Joe proof. What if I if I used my double trigger earlier, I would have had it back by the time we get to the uh, mini boss at the end of this. Which is probably going to be um, a Dragoon. We haven't fought one of them in a while. Hanner! Uh oh. Must burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Empress Annabella? We're just just dropping that right now, huh? My mother ordered this. Why? Clyde. Oh, this does not last long. Holy shit. Oh, it charges up pretty fast. This guy has more health than Ifri. Maybe he doesn't. Existed to give you clothes. Oh, we're too late. Oh, let's go. Oh, thank God. Hug him. Hug him. Quick. Hug. No. Oh, oh, oh. Handshake. All right, you know what? Moving up in the world. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? What the hell happened to the windmill there? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Best video game antagonist? I, I mean, whoever kills Gav on the third disc is going to be up there for sure. Despise bearers. The way father embraced them, and the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Got some red on you. 
Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. <laughs> Remember when, was it Dragon Age 1 or 2, or was it both of them, that after every fight, your character would just be, like, literally, like, bathed in blood? Like, just, like, the whole armor face, just, like, like, yes, we're a mature game. Every single cutscene, here we go, I'm just covered in blood and having this thought. Like, holy shit, that was bad. <laughs> but it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? What about Wait. them? Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Oh, Gav's tall. Now, rats, lead me to your. Enjoy your time while you can, Witcher. What the fuck? Rest. <laughs> Lord Kupka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. Who the fuck are you talking to? Do 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 do. I wonder if they're gonna. Oh, look! We can't fast travel anywhere else because he canonically has to follow us back to the uh, to the hideaway, and we're not gonna notice that we're being uh, being tracked. Writing wrongs. Oh, the meaning of life is over already. Okay. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Make it quick. Can you upgrade my dad's sword? What sword are we using again? Storm Cry. Looks like we can't upgrade it. Oh, that wasn't even the upgrade menu. That was the crafting menu, wasn't it? Reinforce. Yeah, craft, reinforce. Uh, you know what? We're, I'm good. Guy with his 10th alt in den just got banned. Can we ban on Twitch to twist the knife? I mean, for the memes, that sounds like you should, but have they done anything bad on, on, on Twitch? What were they doing on, on, on Den? Look, behold, the three trees that grow, that feed this whole community. They got banned for 4chan comments and they made like 9 Yeah, I just banned them on Twitch then. If, if, they're, if they're being that excessive and they won't take the hand on, on Jads, I don't want them hanging around. Like, yeah. Set a broken arm, soothe a cough. Settle a stomach. But we be but there forever. There is no remedy for what happened in Eastpool. Okay. My talents are worthless in the face of such cruelty. You mean death? This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. Nice quill shot. Okay. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I killed my brother. I am a dominant, Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? <laughs> what the fuck? For 13 years, killing 
was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. <laughs> Holy sh! Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. <laughs> Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? Together. That was the answer we found. The only one we need. Oh, I was wrong. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. What trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? We're gonna build an airship. The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital. And kill God. And pay a visit to Mother. Wait, what do you mean Mother? Why would you call her Mother too? Earlier. How, how much earlier? Oriflam, the Holy Empire of Sambrecu. That is a very pretty castle. The Council of Elders, White Worm Lair. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Hooray! Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but fall and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, yeah. I really do think that, uh, oh, no, no, no subtitle for that one? Okay. Roar, 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 roar. What the The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. Bro, aren't you in charge? And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Oh, okay. I don't understand the dynamic. Okay. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of Great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Whatever. I'm leaving. Where is my son? 
The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Orther. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do some ATL. All right. All right, so he's the guy that turned into... Oh, was it Bahamut? Yeah, it was, right? Because because uh, Odin was already in the field. All right. Firstborn son and loyal subject to em of Emperor Sylvester, ruler of the Holy Empire of Sambriq, as well as leader of the Empire's most elite fighting force, the Dragoons. Dion is also the dominant of Bahamut. Oh, there you go. Warden of Light. And has oft been called upon to summon his icon in defense of his countrymen. Most recently in the year of the realm 873, when Odin took to the field against them in the Battle of Belenus Tor. Um, I don't really want to read all of this right now. Let's Let's just continue. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me? That the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying. Oh, that's what you meant by mommy. Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We're going to destroy the mother crystals. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. <sighs> but where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Okay, if he says at some point during this conversation, it's just a hunch, but it's the only hunch we have. So who's in? And Clive's like, ah, oh, whatever, got nothing else to do. Like, he, he must have some good reasoning for this, right? All right, here we go. Take this crystal. All right. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. All right, so that's what the mother crystals are doing. They're just drawing all the magic in, and they've on, they only started doing this now. Did they like breathe it out and then then breathe it back in? Okay. And where do these crystals come from? My. That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. Oh, hey, hey, Gav. They're one and the same, although admittedly this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem? Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind? Well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals <laughs> are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. Just part of the engine from the alien spaceship. How did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? If the crystals are drawing in and, ca and causing the blight in its wake, why would they draw like far away from it in in instead of around where it landed first? Or maybe it's like it just draws in a lot of magic and there just happens to be a lot of magic around where the crystal landed? Mm, I don't get it. All right, let's keep playing. And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. Reborn? And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one... What say you? Are you with me? Alright, so he just has a hunch. 
He's literally guessing. All right. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. All right, and we're just going along with it. All right, cool. No, he is though. Wait, hold on. Did I misunderstand? He's just guessing. Is he not? He's just like these small crystals that we mine can get take energy from the air. So the big crystal they come from is probably taking energy from around the place too. Makes sense to me. That's what's causing the blight. All right, let's go destroy it. Isn't that literally what just happened? Am I am I am I wrong in my read there? If I am, then I'm sorry if I'm wrong, like genuinely. But th th that's th to me, that's literally what he just said. He is, but what's the issue with Clive trusting him? I mean, Clive's kind of dumb, but it seems like we're. This is going to be a big thing that we're going to do on a... This is just feels right to me, Lamayo. Let's do it. C can we do, like, any testing on it whatsoever? I guess that would be a boring story. But then, you know, the story didn't have to be this either. <laughs> you could have just said... Was he saying that the Blight shows up around the Big Crystal? I, is, my understanding is the actual opposite is true. That the Blight is happening far away from the Crystals. And people think that the Crystals is, is like, the last safe haven. And they're, they're trying to gather around the Crystals. And they were trying to get a Crystal because the Blight was happening. Like, my, my understanding was the actual literal opposite is, is, is happening. Because, like, there's a city around the around the, the, the Mother Crystals and there's no Blight there, right? Isn't that true? Aye. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <sighs> my bad, I misunderstood. It's, it, hey, it's fine to, to, to ask for clarification, because, like, like, I might have misunderstood something, too. Don't worry about it. Maybe it's going to reveal later that, that, that you're right. What have I got myself into? I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. I haven't, I haven't, I've only used one so far. Hey, Jill. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? I'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit. It's a long walk to Oriflam. I wouldn't want you keeling over on the way. Maybe he knows more and he's letting on. He's not telling us. Maybe that's it. Oh, I see more side quests. Is it time to deliver more wood? All right. Can we see the blight on, on the map? All right. This, this is blight. Gray is blight. Blight. Blight? Blight? Is that a crystal? I thought we didn't have a crystal. It, what, what is that? Is that something else? Alright, lots of blight over here. Is anything gray blight? What the fuck is that? Is that a destroyed crystal? There's a huge asshole over there. I wonder what, what, what that's about. Alright, that's a crystal and there's blight all down here. If that is, if that is blight. But there's no blight, like, around this whole city. There's blight coming out of the depths hole over here. What's this? Another another huge-ass crystal that's kind of different. But there's no blight here whatsoever. There is some blight here, though. Hmm. Blight here. Crystal, absolutely no blight whatsoever all around the crystal. Maybe the, the crystal can't suck things through water. Maybe that's the problem. Lots of blight over here. So the blight is, like, explicitly where the crystals aren't at the moment with some exceptions hmm all right I, i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it so far like with how the blight works or anything like that um but like sid just being like this is what i think lamayo let's do it is like fucking wild to me i wonder if we're ever gonna go down there like in uh final fantasy 4 that would be kind of cool like, uh, the, the other theory that works, which is what I kind of said just a, a moment ago, but uh, I didn't have the map to help me, is that let's say there's, like, um, like, like the magical energy of this world is spread out over the whole entire landmass, right? And each area, region, has a different amount of, of energy. Like, say here, like, like in this area, there was, like, 10,000, and here there was 1,000. And it's, like, sucking it up all the energy equally, and it's just that these areas have the least amount of energy, and therefore they go into Blight first right and where the crystals landed it just so happens that that there's like huge concentrations of energy there but then sucking in equally is kind of kind of a stretch like i'm doing a lot of like work now to justify this um but like maybe maybe that is it i guess we'll find out the energy comes from the crystals sid disagrees with you and we're going along with sid's plan <laughs> what happened all right here we go what, what's what, what do you want me to do you! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. Oh, get I some soil. concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? I have to know. All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. 
Okay. Whereabouts is she? If she's outside, Don't we're not doing bales. it. It's on the outskirts of Lostwick. Why? Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why? It may already be too late. Even Clive is like, are you fucking serious? Alright, is this worth it? Should we do it? Okay, I'm not seeing any of the of the side quests that have like a special thing on them. Alright, I'm not I'm actually not doing this. Fuck this. Hello. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in on second thoughts? I don't wanna know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint tie is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? All right. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Uh oh. It didn't sound to <gasps> me. It's a Moggle. What do you suppose? <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. Well, here I am, so drink it in, Kupo. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal themselves to humans. Hmm, he knows his stuff, but what he doesn't know is that Nectar of the Bold is no ordinary Moogle, Kupo. Clive. You understand Moogle tongue, Kupo? Of course I do. So it would seem. Oh. Finally, Kupo. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carry me here, but none of them understand a word to say. I've been banging my pom pom against the brick wall, Kupo. Holy shit, can I have more than. What? I was so. Fa that sounds painful. Sounds painful. But now you're here, my pom pom is the last you can hear me. You can actually hear me, Kupo. And then we never spoke to him again. Was it? Ah, Clive. I trust you're settling in. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? Yeah, sure, why not? Has Clive eaten yet? Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll oh. find one by the entrance. We don't even get to see the food the this time. Guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. One by the entrance, one by the bunks, one guarding the cells. All right. Kind of a shock, Jay. Jay is still so early in the game. Are we really? God fucking damn it! Really? Long-serving bearer. All right. Are you comparing me to other streamers? Maybe because I didn't stream it all weekend. Glenn. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important. Oh, this is another qu oh, Not just a letter. I lost everything. <sighs> There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. 
It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. All right, this side quest is has to do with Sid. Wonderful. This seems this now, one seems like it, it might be good. Delivery in time. If I there's a good side quest in the game, go it'll be this fails. one. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. Quest accepted. Red letter day. All right, let's go find Trolley Chan. All right, here's some food. So it won't last very long out in the elements. Okay, you want you you. Make for as soon as I can. These are the bunks, right? Here's your food. Can I help you? Can I help you? Please send me. Hand over hearty meal, a simply a sustaining dish of boiled eggs and. Belt bread? What? Lovingly assembled by the hideaway's resident mealsmith. Mealsmith. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Is this a cult? Did we join a cult? Come, the cult of Kenneth? To Wanted to send a message. <gasps> Gav. Did she have to go so far? so soon fancied another kip in the cells did you remember when we were naked yeah, he thought you might be hungry and they never explained it here you go he wasn't wrong the way my guts been growling i'd have curls running scared <laughs> god duty down here can't be much fun it's not but sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Who is this for? Clive, was it? Alright, who, where's the other one? Out, out over here, okay. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Oh shit, it's another quest! No! Me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bearer on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Hey, you were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then, might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall. And I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. This Safe this quest is literally gonna be fast travel the Lost Wing, go to the tavern keeper. Tavern keeper says, Oh Randall, I saw him go out into the wilderness. You go out into the wilderness, you find Randall, and then you say, Randall, go home. Albin needs you. And then he does it and that's it, that's the end. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> A 
They must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Literally MMO quests. They're, they're, they're bad MMO quests. This is like, this is Goldshire bullshit. Like vanilla, like it launched 20 fucking 2008 or whatever it was. Oh fucking Goldshire God. MMO quests. Like not like after no, Cataclysm of Goldshire quests. Like what? And to those who might have been. Hello, I would like my reward, please. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward. As promised. Name a good MMO quest. Disgusting eels justifiably slain. It's hilarious. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth. And not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. We got a gill bug for that. Do you need any help, Miss Bobby? Thank, thank you, Lily. I don't know. You could rinse and chop these greens for the stew, I suppose. All right, we're going to do, as a treat, we are going to do Red Letter Day. Here we go. We're doing it. And we're going to, and this is, this is it. This quest, this quest has, it's summon for Sid, it involves the main character. It's after the, the, the intro of the game. We have Devil Trigger now, okay? So if this quest is bad, that's it. I'm not doing a single fucking other one. Where, where is it? Aura Bell Down? No. Martha's Rest? No, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's on, it's on... It matches the numbers. Oh, that's a that's a new one. Is there? All right, so we have to go here. Lost wing, for three. No, we're two. Here. Here. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Just do it if it looks interesting. So you want me to turn the game off? Someone's in trouble. Oh no. <laughs> What game are you most excited about streaming next? Mm. I don't know. For like like the entertainment value of a stream, probably Alsom Somnium 2. For my own enjoyment, like fucking none of them. Like I don't know. Like I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy any of those. I hope I do. Like as a game. Like who knows? Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bear. Oh, th this room. isn't even the same pack quest. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. What? Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. What's the difference? It's the good stuff you're looking for. <laughs> Dark, rich, <laughs> fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. No, I won't. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Are we flirting? Soil then. There's certainly enough of it here. Yay! It fragrant? <laughs> Quest markers. Here we go. This is dark and rich, but it's not fragrant. They are- they are shitting themselves on this right now. Are you fucking kidding? 
I am back in Goldshire. What the fuck? When do we kill Hogger? What? Oh, good, good thing we doubled up. You know what? This is like an MMO where like you like gather a bunch of quests for one area so you don't have to make multiple trips. We're even having that part of the experience. Double up, g gather the fangs while gathering the dirt. You'll save some time. Like, what? Wh wh <laughs> All right, I don't understand where the other one is. All right, there we go. It's right here. It's right here. Is this just showing the area? Oh, there's one over there. Okay. Are we done? This should be enough. Four, four. We're done. All right. Get it back to the hideaway. I can't wait to have to get 10 boar livers and have to kill 25 fucking boars to do it because some boars don't have livers. I doubt he can right. fit much more in his pack. Are we done? Still no sign of Sid's letter though. Speak with the yard hand. Alright, greetings, yard hands. Around. Are you seeing do you have any rich fragrant dirt? A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. <laughs> Could have been a piece of paper. <laughs> no idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? <laughs> Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. I just snorted. Dare someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. <laughs> To the village. I have heard of a dog. All right, who are we the talking to? All, all right, here we Oh, it's a dog. All right, yeah, that's, that's mine. Retrieve letter. But is he reading it? It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. He's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. What the fuck is that? Alright, should we do this other one while we're here? It's the true MMO experience. We're gonna get so much XP when we go back. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his <sighs> asked me to check on him. Oh, Randall, he's out Randall, in the fort. You say. The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. To sleep on my floor. Though, thinking about it, he uh. should probably have been back. By now. Here we go. I'll go and look for him. <laughs> Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here on Norbert's <laughs> path. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. This place seems to be doing quite well for for you know a world where they're starving and have to invade for farmland. Just build more farms, Lamayo. What are you doing? Stop you using your mills for power and you just you know just get the bonus. It's fine. Or is this the way? Oh my fucking really? Can I have the run, please? No. No running. Hey. Yeah, I heard from a couple of uh -huh. the bearers what you did to them royalists over. Hey Randall, go home. <sighs> oh no, I'm hurt. I need some herbs for healing. No, a potion won't do. You need to go get some herbs for me so I can make a healing a salve right now. It's really special. Okay, where are they? They're over there. Over there. Get them. Alright, I need three of them though. Alright, I'll get it. Are you alright? Hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Oh no. Randall knew he didn't play the hero. Oh Randall! Rick the sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. Oh, you're not even Randall. I misjudge this. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Okay. 
I don't think he can do that. He would have done that already, Clive. Goblins. All right, what are we doing? Why am I not surprised? Going up. Holy shit. Wake winds. I I am stunning him when he's semi-staggered. Not just full on staggered. And then when he's staggered, I am like using my, my R2 square. And I don't have time to get it all off before he hits me and I can't dodge to the end of it. That kind of sucks. You can stop mashing it and, and not get the full value out of my special ability. Randall. Ran, ran, oh, we're, we're, we missed it. Randall. Oh, I think Randall's fucking dead. Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the right side. I'll speak to Quentin. Oh, man, I'm so sad that Randall's dead. Okay, do I have to like run back? Can I teleport? Do you think this game would have been better as a Final Fantasy X or Final Fantasy XIII style game with straight up linear levels? I don't think any game would be benef would benefit from being more like Final Fantasy XIII. I don't remember X enough, so I can't say. Ah, there you are. Randall's dead. My man told me what happened, and I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. If only we hadn't stopped to pick up all that dirt. Trust you'll do right by him. And the bag. Of course. And the letter. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? <sighs> <laughs> We never what <laughs> a while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work, and he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. Alright. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Yay! 20 XP! Yay! Alright, we did- we did all of the quests. Alright, let's see. Alright, here we go. Map, let's go back to the hideout. Alright. The letter one is gonna be- it's gonna lead to quest content, I'm telling you, man. Main story stuff. Sid is gonna appear and be like, thanks for the letter, it's important. It's really gonna help. Alright, soil samples first, let's tickle some balls. There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Rich loamy earth gathered from the vineyards of Gal Galtan's bales for use in the gardener Bohumil's experiment. D it, we s this is thievery. There we're using it. We stole this. Glorious. 
When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... It's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. If the ether was being drained out of the soil like uniformly and this area just had the least amount of it amount of it as soon as we bring like a little pittance of soil in here that still has ether in it wouldn't it just be drained very very quickly it wouldn't last very long at all so how are we growing shit here enough for a tree i don't get it i wish i could offer you some fruit too it's not gonna make not sense is to it thank me if i do still we'll grow something worth eating one of these days and when we do you'll have first pick all right Da, 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 da. 18 XP? Oh, we're almost at a level up. Look at this. All right. The heavy hitter quest. Here we go. We're going to get a blue reward from this. Here we go. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. Did he, like, burn his tattoo away? That's an interesting detail. Supplies intended for deliveries of the hideaway to the clumsy courier Glenn lost on the road due to an unfortunately placed hole in his pack. A letter intended to deliver the hideaway to the clumsy courier... Oh, this is the same thing, okay. No more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about curse-breaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. Sid has a daughter? I never mentioned a daughter. Oh, plot details! He's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Really? Would he blow me? Probably. Red letter day. Level up. Level up. 20 XP. No! This was it. Alright, chat. I am never doing a side quest ever again for this whole entire run. These are awful. Awful, awful. Unless chat like specifically says, hey, this one is good, I played the game, or this one has a reward that's important or whatever. I am I am not doing a single side quest ever again in this game. This was fucking terrible. I am stunned in the year of our Lord 2023 Gay Ben that, that a game this high profile has released with Quest this bad. This is like Gravity Rush 2 tier. Like, what the fuck? Hello, Otto. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known it. Well, oh, he, he's obsessed with this. Oh, okay. He's a madman. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. Who doesn't know? Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirit. His legions are on the march again. This time. You never play Final Fantasy VII Remake, have you? I haven't, no. Should we stream it? Great I'm sure it'll be fun. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded nerds. Not even Genshin side quests are this bad. No trouble is making it to the capital. That's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. 
Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. That's a low blow. It's true, yeah. They're still, don't get me wrong, they're still bad. That, that gets you an audience with the dame. And it's the dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. Who's the dame? I'll send a stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. All right. We'll go way back. Okay. She's a true friend of the cause. Cool. For the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. Okay, we have 20 minutes. That's is something good going to happen in the next 20 minutes? Who is this dame? And where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. Okay, I'm not paying attention to any of this. Something about the Vale or whatever. Please don't stream Final Fantasy 7. Why would you play a good game? What do you mean? Oh, is that a good game? Oh, okay. We're on a bad run lately, aren't we? Holy shit. What a woman. If you know what I mean. A woman. I really thought this was going to be good. <laughs> don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. We lost 200 viewers since the uh, the side quest stopped. What do you all want? Was it defense forces like last gas? Oh, it's the spy! Oh, shit! He's blending in. Pulling it off. Or maybe he's not. Alien reports are now available for viewing. This is speaking of the gaunt at the Alien report counter. The hall that, what, what, what's this? Is it not the spy? Hello? I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Lank locked bearer. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd... I mean, to be honest, you going through the game at 60% pace non-streamer does not help. We get 60%! Come on! Pausing it to talk, you know, a fair bit. But at the same time, when we're playing it, I feel like we're not, we're not fucking around. We've been doing barely any side quests. Have died, like, twice. And it's really quick to get back into it. Like, just, like, fucking spearheading through the whole thing. What do you fucking mean? Thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough... These have got proper bounties on them and all. View all alliant reports. Quick look. I really thought this was the the spy finding new. Oh, okay. Wait. Think you can no, help? no. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Yeah. And I was ahead of you, and you know how he loves to talk. <laughs> How many days has he strumped it? For a little mischief, I'm on day three. Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Oh no! Just the three of us then. Uh oh, Gav's learning this now. Like said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. <laughs> And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Oh, it's like Ash with Charizard. Primarily, primary an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. Jill's just like happy. Has Jill said anything? I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. Jill, talk. Say something. Jill, for the love of God. For...
do 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 Lost Swing. We just went to the <laughs> What the fuck? No. We could have done the side quest while we were here. So we're meeting in Northreach. Okay, hold on. Let, I'm I'm teleporting here. I don't give a shit. We're never gonna know that line. We're meeting in Northreach. Can we bump Al to the next game like we did after Life is Strange? I don't know if we can do that. It might be, you know what? It might be too much fun after this. We unironically had more viewers when we were talking about blowing our nose in the sink earlier. Alright, we leveled up. Good thing we did those side quests or else it would be another couple of rounds before we leveled up. This sounds familiar. Northreach. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. But that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. Whistling Wendy? This is gonna be dull as fuck, isn't it? A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. Ooh. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me? Clive? <sighs> You're the dame. Is Clive a virgin? Let I'm gonna guess yes. Such impersonal titles to my less preferred Cleontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago... This, this fucking just presents itself as... As people who, like really like like the vibe and how people talked in game of thrones without understanding anything that was going on <laughs> just like it's just nothing behind it Sid did me a kindness when no one else would i have never forgotten that without it i would not be where i am today and so I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. All right. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. All right. Thank you, random woman. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... I let them molest me. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Soil samples? Wait. What? <sighs> All right. There's going to be a side quest she has later that we're never going to do. Alright, hold on. Speaking of side quests, is there any around here? Apparently there's one, if, if there's like a, a plus mark or a minus mark next to a side quest, it means that it's one they actually gave a shit about and put effort into it. Alright, there's nothing here. Alright, there's a shop. Alright, fuck it. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. 
All the plus quests are in the hideout. We did it! We did those! Oh my god, did we already do a plus side, side quest? Back to the vine already. Were those the good ones? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. Escort for an escort. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. You still need to unlock good side quests. Th th through doing side quests? <laughs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Man, those helmets must suck. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. And I suppose I'll need to get my coin purse. <laughs> oh, th th that was it. Okay. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Like on paper? Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Game, what are you doing right now? Alright. Thank you for seeing me through the gates. M talk, take five steps forward, talk again, take like take five steps forward, press X, talk again, go talk go through a door, over here conversation, talk again. My lady. I am in your debt. Well that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. Where's Jill? You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? Put this dress on. I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. There you go. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now. Having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Seal obtained. You accept the moon and stars from Isabella. All right. Proof of that trust. What does it do? And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Okay, where's that? The dam. Alright, I see some side quests. Alright, the main quest is right here. Hello. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. 
A gift from the dame. Oh no. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what our chambermate can tell us then. I, I'm sorry, it's it's eerie. Oh, the the dog is here now. Hey, dog. It's it's eerie how similar this is to Gary Rush Two in in the, the mission structure. Like, did they just did they play that and was like, holy shit, the shit's fire? Like, so you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. Uh huh. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. I did these side quests this morning, and I still can't remember what happened during them. Nice. I'll do them for sure. Don't worry. I'm. Told you share a bedchamber with Tatian. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatian and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatian was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in, and she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison, did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Haven't seen you when the Forspoken fan doesn't like it, you know it's serious. Hey, at least between the... Okay, the big story moments in this are, are decent. The big story moments in Forspoken weren't that great. But at least between the big story moments in Forspoken, you got to like do some fun parkour jumping around bullshit in, in the world. And you got to play the game instead of just going from conversation co to conversation to have some boring-ass fucking dialogue shoved in your face. Like... I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Yep. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Brandy? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. Yeah. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant. All right, time to go to war. The dame, thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. Really? Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. I am the bearer of good news. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. I don't know if I'm just getting more impatient as I get older, or if this is really that bad. I'm, I am, like, actually bored out of my fucking mind right now. I'm actually getting mad. I'm so fucking bored. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. Oh, it's Bertrand. He'll return as soon as I find something. The main quest stuff we did earlier was 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 fun. Like that that was not like that's not bad. I don't know how good it is, but like it was enjoyable at least. And now it's like oh you we had forty five minutes of like 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 decent to good, and now oh we can go through. Now it's time for fucking like uh like to pay for it with this bullshit. Oh this place is huge. Royal Meadows. Oh what's Arthur, over there? A Drake? How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? 
Please do the side quest in this road. Sometime I laugh so much at how bad they are. Imperial watchtower. <laughs> Should be well stocked. Well stocked with what? You know what? That that's kind of tempting me. Right. You're not one of us. All right, we did it. Why do why did we do this? That was a lot of experience. That was like that that was more experience than all three of the side quests that we did earlier. That's it. It feels like I should have a, a, a chocobo to ride around here. This place is like quite big. Yeah, 10 XP for killing a bird. That's half a side quest. All right, let's not do them, but let's see. Greetings, what would you like me, the main character of this you game, to do for you? Hey. You're late. What kept you? All right, what do you want me to do? What? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there. Once to the brothel, huh? Rescue him. Nah. The insolence. Someone needs to learn to break his slaves. All right. Do, 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 this one's good, Joe. Please, there's no way. I don't believe you. These ones are so bad, they're funny. Please, do yeah. Is there a number next to your name? No. All right, fine. We'll do it. It better be funny. I better get a plus two. What's that over there? Where Where are we looking? I don't understand what we're looking at there. What's that? Part of the the ruins. You're late. Late. All right. Where is he? My, I see they've sent me a branded with a spine for a change. He's over that way, towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. All bark. Is it a dog? Is your boy a dog? Someone All right. Whose son's in mortal danger. He didn't seem all that worried. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. Nah. The wolf. It's going to eat me. Not if I can help it. Stay back. I'll deal with this. That's it. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Yeah, four XP. This deserved a fucking victory screen. All right, now what? No, you are supposed to kill Wolfie. You are supposed to die. Father will have you whipped for this. Bearers aren't supposed to win. They never win. What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that. We were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. All right, Joffrey. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. All right, Geralt. You, Brandy, come here this in. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. 
You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go, summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. Then why did you do what he told you to? Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. Okay, Clive, you, you like, Honest to God, you need to kill him. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, and unless you wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. Father, he's scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Th that's it? You know what? I think I learned something today. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Then we go back. It's a boomerang quest structure. We're all victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. <laughs> How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service. Like yourself. <laughs> I'll bury these bodies, don't worry. It's any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it, the none left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Joe just play Sudoku, be less boring. I did a banger Sudoku yesterday. I can't remember what it was called. I'll, I'll try and get it for tomorrow. Don't have my phone. It was really good. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. How can they think so little of sending us to the slaughter? Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well, you can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. I'm here. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. <laughs> all right, you know what? Maybe we should so do all bears. of these. These are so terrible. Or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back? I wonder. The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Yeah. For the help. Thanks, Raymond. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. Twenty XP. Oh man, two birds. Did I enjoy it? I mean, 
ironically, yeah, enjoyed it for the wrong reasons. This was batshit. It was so dumb. Oh, this, there's just blood. That's it? Okay, where's the wolf? All right. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? Is it the wolf? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. And she likes walking in the wheat. I know the fields are big, but she's never got lost before. Oh, she must be starving too. She hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. It is my job to feed her. What is she? In that case, let's not keep her waiting. Is it a bear? Alright, here we go. I'm i I'm actually scared. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Alright, let's go. Like someone might have seen her. Hello, have you seen Chloe? You work these fields. I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet, Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's plaything. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished playing with it. What? Is, is, is it a fucking goblin? What is it? Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. Chloe? Oh, it's, it's the same white. dog from earlier that had the letter. Chloe are you, girl? Is that someone napping on the job? <laughs> I don't mind the interruption. <laughs> Clive! This is opening. Wake up. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloe's had prissy hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Papa? Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The crystal's curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No, don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. Then remember her. I... Okay. I am. 
That's it. I had another branded drop in the field yesterday. How do they expect us to finish the harvest when the ones the capital sends us are already half stone? Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, let's save it. Let's uh, we'll continue here tomorrow because like, oh my god. All right. Holy shit. All right, is that it? We should go back and do those ones. Oh man. Oh man. I can't believe how bad this is. How is this so bad? How am I how am I so far away from like the general consensus usually? Usually it's like, yeah, I like the game, I just don't like it as much as everyone else. It's actually shockingly fucking rare that there's like a game that is like getting such universal praise and I play it and I'm like, this sucks! Like, what the fuck? How is this happening? You played Tears of the Kingdom like two months ago? Tears of the Kingdom, it's, again, it, like, it, that's a good example. Like, it's, it's fine, I enjoy it, I just don't love it as, as much as everyone else. I can still see why people like it. This is like... I, I, I can't, I can't excuse how, like, utterly boring it is between the good parts, because the boring parts are just so much longer than the good parts. Read the pin? Why read the pin? The next side quest is the best in the game. You can ban me if it's not. You know what? I, I haven't seen all the side quests, so we're going to have to find out. Maybe just a precautionary ban, and we'll unban if it's not. <laughs> no, that's fine, obviously. Oh my god, I can't believe this shit. Even reviewers say side quests are- But it, it's not even the side quests! It's like, it's like everything, like, it's, it's like, there's this stretch of time where it's like, you know, here's some good stuff, and that takes like, I don't know, 20 minutes to an hour, and then after that it's like, multiply that time by two or three, for like, boring ass village bullshit, where it's just like, it, where it feels like side quests but they're mandatory. And then after that, it's like, oh, we'll be good again for a bit. And then it's like boring time again. Like these aren't even fucking side quests. You need to eat your great vegetables. Yeah, it's like it's like the veg eat your vegetables to get the good stuff, or else you don't get dessert. Honestly, the good parts felt longer than the bad parts to me. Maybe I'm just thinking of of today's stream. Today's stream, the the good part was not the longest part. Rabby Ribby gets delayed. It's always worth it to delay Rabby Ribby. Maybe it just ends really well. Maybe as it goes on, like, the pacing ramps up and there's less of this downtime as after it establishes all the different locations and stuff. And you can jump between all the different stuff over and over and over. Sure, cope. Huff in the copium. Huff in the copium. Snorting it down. Oh, man. And that's it for me, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Should be around same time tomorrow. The true chaos schedule is, is obeying the, the proper schedule that we had all along after saying we're not going to do that anymore. For whatever reason, I've actually been sleeping fairly well since saying that. So yeah, that's that's fun. It won't last though. Eventually, we'll be at, we'll be on true chaos schedule. I'm sorry if you're a big fan of this game. I know it's not fun to have like like the streamer be like a stick in the mud when it comes to it. I just I, I can't I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's like the end of Ragnarok the whole time. <laughs> All right, that's an exaggeration. There are some good parts. Anyway, I'll see you later.